Hey Tony, you will never believe this shit. Check it out. These nuts. <laughs> this is your captain speaking. Here to let you know at South Piss, we could care less. We know how crabby some of you motherfuckers really are. So, instead of being mean to us, look in the mirror and be the bitch you've been since you woke up today. Again, thank you for flying South Pets, where we care less. Alright, it's what, Saturday night, 109 degrees out. Let's see what the fuck all these apps got going. Yeah, Uber's got surge jumping all over the fucking place. Let's open Lyft real quick, see what Lyft's got going. My man Juan Vargas, he's out. He's already got a motherfucking um, a Lux headed downtown right now. So let's see what Lyft's got going. If Lyft ain't got shit, we got eight drivers at the airport, minimum eight, because we know motherfuckers be up there. There was nine. I'm not gonna open that shit up. Let's go in here real quick. Let's move my vehicles over. See if we can put this shit on Lux. All right, bam. Got it on Lux. Now, I'm going to do Lux on Lyft just to start out the night because I just don't feel like fucking with them. I know they're going to start out with some bullshit right off the bat. $2.62 rides with like four motherfuckers. I'm like, I'm not even starting off with them with Lux. Hell no. They, I mean, with Lyft, they got to start off with Lux because they has to be doing some nutty shit. I'm not going to make it down there. 17 and 21. I don't know what the hell's going on down there. For the surge to be that damn high, woo. Hopefully they got some drivers down there. Uh, that's actually shooting me over to Gilbert. That's trying to shoot me way over there, which is right above that surge right there. But I just don't like that price, so I'm not fucking with that. Uh, let's see. Yeah, because like I said, that's that that big surge amount. And we know yesterday I went I went for that 21 and got fucked, so I'm not doing that shit again today. Uber already taught me a lesson with that shit. Don't go following fucking Uber surge. Just fuck that, because they'll pull that shit as soon as you pull up. They got me yesterday with that shit up in Scottsdale, and luckily that Lux came through and fucking hit me up with a ride on the way back, because I was about to be pissed. All right, got the car all clean. Man, I even put some wheel juice on this motherfucker. Uh, yeah, like I said, I'm not doing those little short fucking trips right now. I told you, I'm trying to get downtown. So that's going in the opposite direction of where I'm trying to go. So yeah, let's see what I got. Hopefully, you know, they'll send me something that's actually worth fucking sending because I see surge all over the fucking place. So, you know, if I'm not getting surge, I probably won't touch it. Really, I won't because I know they got the money. The money's out there and they always put that shit in areas because they know most of us as drivers, we start at night. That's why in the daytime, every time I turn my app on in the daytime, the first fucking thing they do is throw Surge on there. I'll be like, man, that's fucking nuts. As soon as I fucking start, they throw Surge on there in the daytime. Because they know I don't drive in the daytime. Now, at nighttime, Surge ain't nowhere near my motherfucking house. Because they algorithm already knows where all these fucking drivers routinely start their days or their nights. And that's why in the daytime, shit, my house be blowing the fuck up red all over that motherfucker because they like yeah he ain't driving we don't got to worry about him he ain't starting his motherfucking car in the daytime but i did that shit the other day and got caught up in all that crazy fucking traffic so they like yeah and they still shitted on me too during the daytime they shitted on me so i was like no nah, i got something for y'all monkey ass it's like i'm just not gonna turn my app on in the fucking daytime at all and even at night i don't fuck with them when the shit's too low let that it's another driver out there want that shit i don't mess with it i ain't got time for it like I said, motherfuckers don't like the way I drive. It's cool. You ain't got to like the way I drive. Shit, I like the way I fucking drive. I love making money the way I make money because it makes sense to me. A lot of motherfuckers it don't make sense to. No, fuck no. Nah, that's way the fuck up there. That's so far up north, man. Shit. And it, like I said, motherfuckers don't tip. So I'm like, nope. I'm not even having that shit tonight. Let these motherfuckers, you know, throw all these long ass fucking nature hikes all on the screen. I'm not fucking with it. Because tipping culture, these motherfuckers are tired of us. They're tired of fucking tips. So I'm like, cool. We driving for face fucking value now. Which means a lot of you motherfuckers ain't getting picked up. That's just what it is. Like I said, we gonna keep that shit 100 all the way. A lot of you motherfuckers might not get picked up. Just because we know the apps are not paying us shit. And if we gotta rely on the apps for money, that's what we do. We rely on the apps for fucking money. Man, they keep trying to send me down to fucking Tempe. 
It's like they done every fucking ride they done shot me on on Uber has been going to the east. Every single fucking one. Look at that shit. That one's going to the east too. It's like no, nah, I'm cool on that shit. Nope, nope, nope. All y'all doing is tanking my motherfucking AR more and more with the bullshit. Because I'm headed downtown Phoenix. Because like I said, I would head down here with that surge is sitting down there, but we know what's going to fucking happen when I get there. What was that Osborne Road? Look at that shit. No. Fuck that shit. It's not enough. It's not enough. All right, I'm downtown now. Let's see what I got. What I got. Let me see. Let's open up over real quick. See if these motherfuckers got any surge down here. Probably not. Because they just acting fucking raggedy. Alright, let's open up Lyft real quick. Because like I said, I got Lyft Lux on right now. Yeah, car, scoot the fuck back. These idiots down here be fucking flying through traffic. Don't know where the fuck they going. <laughs> that car was flying up trying to pass me. And they's like, oh shit. Cones. Yeah, cones, motherfucker. We downtown. Wake the fuck up. Now you go your ass, you can't do what the fuck you want to do downtown. You better slow your ass down. You're going to be all up on some motherfucking concrete curbs and shit down here. That's why I don't come downtown. It'd be motherfuckers like that driving down here, thinking they on a goddamn highway still. It's like, motherfucker, you be going 15, 20 miles an hour down here. You don't slow your monkey ass down. You and that motherfucking X5 going to be totaled the fuck out. Little white BMW X5. It's like, you better slow your monkey ass down. All right, let's go see. Let's turn on Uber real quick. Yeah, we'll go sit down here at Quick Trip, but I'm just cruising straight down 3rd Street right now. I'll cut over to fucking 7th in a while. Let's see if I can work my way around. That might be a paid parking spot. Yeah, it's a pay to get in there. No wonder all these motherfucking cars is on the street. <laughs> all these cars is on the street, and there's a big-ass parking lot right there. These motherfucking cheapskates, they don't want to fucking pay. They like, yeah, we ain't parking in there. Shit. We some broke motherfuckers downtown fucking fake balling. We ain't going in that parking lot. Shit. I'm like, man, I'm not doing all of that. It's too much. It's too much. Get rid of that. Yeah. Yeah, I was an Uber X share any fucking ways. So I'm not doing that. I got about a half a tank of gas. You know what? I should probably fill up while I'm here. No, actually not, because they got this little motherfucker on a skateboard riding around with a goddamn squeegee. I don't like these motherfuckers. They always walk up to my car. Excuse me, sir, you mind if I wipe your windshield? Man, if you don't get that motherfucking squeegee with no fucking end on it, you're going to scratch my whole motherfucking windshield up. It's like a fucking squeegee with no fucking cushion on that shit. Motherfucker, fuck up my car. Next thing you know, I, I should have just did the shit my fucking self. I'm not lazy, motherfucker. Scoot back. Get the fuck away from my car. Excuse me, sir, you mind if I squeegee your window? And it's not even a squeegee they own. They just get the motherfucker out the thing right here at the gas station. So you riding around with a gas station squeegee that I could just use my fucking self. It ain't like you got a special fucking squeegee with like your own chemicals and your own shit. No, you just took a fucking nasty, dirty ass squeegee out the fucking box right there. And you putting that funky ass fucking mildew water all over my fucking windshield. Now my windshield smell like somebody's fucking morning breath. I don't like using them fucking squeegees. I use Windex. I got Windex in my fucking trunk. I fucking do my shit at the house before I fucking leave. I wash all my windows. These old mildew ass water fucking things, if they're blue and they got Windex in them, yeah, you could use those. But most of these motherfuckers got milk molded ass fucking water with old fucking ratty ass napkins floating around in the motherfucker with mold at the top. You see oil and film on the top of the shit. You put it on your motherfucking windshield. The shit runs down your windshield, gets in your air return. Now the whole inside of your car smell like somebody's fucking morning breath because you done fucked around with the goddamn gas station squeegees. Fuck them squeegees. It's like, get that shit away from my car, man. I do my shit at home. These motherfucking gas station squeegees, they got to swap that fucking water out. That shit smell like fucking high school mop water. That shit's nasty as a motherfucker. It was like, I'm gonna put that shit on my fucking window. Then my car smells like that. So motherfuckers get in my car. They think I didn't brush my teeth this fucking morning. But I'm like, no, that morning breath smell you smelling? That's the, my old nasty ass fucking windshield from these motherfuckers using the gas station squeegees. Don't use that shit on my car. Get that shit away from my car. Nasty motherfuckers. <laughs> shit. I don't play that shit, man. My car is pristine. Even, like I said, I don't give a fuck if I got mud on my motherfucking window. I'm not using no nasty ass gas. I'll 
pull up and I'm looking at motherfucker, if the water is brown and all murky and shit and got napkins floating in it, yeah, I ain't that shit ain't touching my fucking car. Fuck that. That's like wiping your motherfucking car down with toilet water after somebody took a shit in it. It's like just because it's wet don't mean that shit's good. It's water, motherfucker. I don't want to touch that shit. And see, dude, still rolling around on the skateboard asking everybody. He's still right there. Man, you don't get that nasty ass fucking guy. And he ain't even got nothing but a squeegee in his hand. I should record that motherfucker, but I ain't gonna do that to him. It's like he's seriously rolling around the, the gas station on a skateboard with a squeegee he done took out of one of these nasty ass squeegee bins. It's like, man, if you don't put that shit back, go get you a bucket with your own chemicals, putting that nasty shit on people's car. Man, fuck that. And then be and then they expect money. It's like, how the fuck you gonna expect money? You got my car funky as a motherfucker now. And you expect me to pay you. My shit was perfectly fine before you touched it with that nasty ass fucking squeegee. But now all of a sudden you want me to give you money. Man, if you don't get the fuck out of here, now you gotta wash my car. Now you done fucked it up. Now you gotta wash it. Nasty shit. <laughs> These motherfuckers. Let's do that real quick. Ah, oh, they probably gonna give it to me because there was too much shit going on. All right, let's go on Lyft real quick. See what the fuck Lyft is getting. Oh, shit, they did give it to me. God damn it. Man, I swear to God. They be giving me the worst fucking rides. All right, let's go pick up Alexandra up the fucking street. Take her little, little ass quick $4 ride. Like I said, it'll get me out this motherfucking gas station so this dude stop asking me for shit all the fucking time. You want me to wash your window, sir? Man, if you don't get that funky ass fucking hockey stick looking ass fucking thing away from my fucking car... So here we are, out crew. That was a pretty quick trip right there. She was literally right around the corner. She was returning to a big ass party they are having over here. So yeah, nuts. Like only a mile. So hold up, what are they trying to send me now? Probably some bullshit. Let's see. 16 bucks for some motherfucking chicken noodle soup, probably. Yeah, I'm not doing that shit. I don't feel like getting out of the car right now, man. It's 185,000 degrees out in this motherfucker, and I'm not getting out of the car. I'm chilling in the AC. It's hot as a motherfucker right now. But that's that's a double piece right there. Two deliveries, you know what I'm saying? So somebody who's doing a fucking, you know, if somebody's doing a uh like a quest or something like that, they can do that shit. That's a couple of good fucking deliveries for a quest right there. I think this is a pool party, because there's a lot of motherfuckers walking around in bikinis and shit over here. I think this is a pool party. What the fuck? I should have brought my swimming trunks, motherfucker. I could do a cannonball. Looking like motherfucking, was that dude Rodney? <laughs> was Rodney Dangerfield? <laughs> that motherfucker, the triple Lindy. That motherfucking Rodney Dangerfield back to school. That shit. That will be me. Because there's a whole bunch of young ass people there. I go in that motherfucker. I'm going to do the triple Lindy, motherfucker. Shit. They be like, go, go. Fucking Rodney Dangerfield, back to school, man. We we grew up to some good ass fucking movies, man. I swear to God, shit like that. All the Chevy Chase movies, all the Rodney Dangerfield movies, man. We grew up to some good shit. Richard Pryor, this, which way is up? You know, all these movies, man. What is that? Oh, no, I'm not turning around. I'm not fucking you turning to go backwards. That's a GoPuff right there for 12 bucks. Nah, I'm cool on that shit. I don't feel like dealing with that right now. Like I said, and that's funny because, you know, they be doing a lot of GoPuff shit on these fucking apps now. Because they'll try to get you to go do something. And they be like, this is a GoPuff delivery. It's like, fuck that. And the fact that I'm downtown right now, that's where a lot of shit is coming through. Because a lot of people downtown... They don't like to fucking, you know, go get their own food. A lot of people downtown love to use the delivery services because it's easier for them. It's a lot of one-way streets. They got shitty parking down here. So once you get a good parking spot, you ain't going no fucking where. You're going to keep your parking spot. So a lot of deliveries are downtown. If you ever need a quest to be done, trust me, you come to downtown Phoenix, you're going to clear that motherfucker in the night because these motherfuckers do not leave. Once they're in for the night, they know how crazy traffic gets. They won't fucking leave. They'll be like, nope. I'm staying, not leaving. And y'all has to be doing delivery all fucking night down here. But yeah, they try to give me that fucking trip behind me. I'm like, man, I'm not fucking U-turning for that shit. All this fucking crazy ass traffic, you want me to U-turn for fucking four bucks? Fuck that shit. I'm going straight. And that's what these apps need to consider, man. If, if they're going to be doing shit in the downtown area, 
it's cool if we going in one direction, but once they got you U-turning and getting caught up in fucking traffic and going down side streets and one ways and nah, it's too much. Not for fucking four bucks, it's too much. I could do a straight shot like what I just did. That was easy. Just in and out, bam, bam, done. But yeah, when they get, like I said, here's a whole row of fucking cars sitting at the light. These motherfuckers like 35 cars deep at that light. You ain't U-turning nowhere close to that fucking light. You gotta go all the way down the street fucking go down the side street hopefully it's the right way and not a one way then come all the fucking way back shit you done made four dollars just doing that shit and you ain't even to your person yet it's like fuck that shit now let me turn on this little side street here yeah, i always cut down this street because it keeps me away from the craziness because if you keep going down that way you hit adams and all that yeah you fucked up you don't want to go that far nope nope all right, let's see something. No, I'm not doing that shit either. Nope, nope. They can use a different car for that shit. Like I said, once I'm downtown, I'm down here. Because if I leave, if I take five miles down there, then I gotta turn around and come five miles back. I just went 10 miles for five bucks. That's your 50 cent a mile fucking rides these motherfuckers be taking. They be like, no, it took a dollar a mile. No, you didn't. Because you went five miles that way, then your ass came right back. You went 10 fucking miles for five bucks. It was like, and these motherfuckers, like I said, they're not obligated to tip you. They they may not fucking tip you, so it's truly a fucking 50 cent a mile fucking ride. Like shit like that. No, I'm not doing that. Nope, nope. And this is how they get motherfuckers. We're all downtown right now. So we all we gotta do is just do a few downtown rides, but instead of that shit, they're trying to get you to leave downtown. Cause they know it's probably gonna be surged down here pretty soon and when it does whoo motherfuckers gonna be getting hit let's do that let's do that shit because i'm going this way any fucking way turn this fucking corner and it's right there like i said i know how to pick my fucking rides man you gotta if you're going in the direction i'm going cool if you're not fuck it not doing that shit four bucks to do a whole bunch of fucking you turning and crazy shit i ah, fucked it i could do four bucks going in a straight line so let's do four bucks in a straight line. I'll hit you motherfuckers back in a second. Downtown Phoenix with no motherfucking surge. Whack motherfuckers. These are all the rides I've gotten so far. What, I think, no, that was at in the morning. So it was 903, 479, 475, and 399. No tips, no surge. Fuck that. Not going to surprise. Y'all child motherfucking mine. That's way up the goddamn highway. Tell you, boy, these motherfuckers are night, man. These apps ain't paying shit. And it's fucking Saturday. These motherfuckers better get with it. About to turn on some fucking Lux real quick. See what the fuck these motherfuckers up to. Because these motherfuckers are not paying shit tonight. Nothing. Nada. Not a motherfucking thing. All right, so I'm sitting at this gas station. Let's turn on some... Since Uber is acting stupid, let's go through and turn on some motherfucking Lyft. Let's see what the fuck this motherfucker's doing. They're probably gonna send me some shit ride, like a fucking 50 cent a mile ride real quick. Some funny shit that I just saw on Lyft versus Uber. So on Lyft, because you know how Lyft is. Lyft be putting fucking fake surge all over the fucking place. So on Lyft, you got fucking surge all around here. There's surge everywhere. Look at that shit. Surge all over the fucking city, except downtown where everybody is. I'll explain to you why that shit is downtown phoenix is booming like a motherfucker there's nobody no surge down here whatsoever but there's surge all over the outskirts every fucking where go back over here same fucking deal surge all around the city except downtown tell you boy these lousy motherfuckers boy they be trying people i'm gonna turn on uber turn on lux and watch how these lousy motherfuckers do. They're going to try to send a ride some fucking where. Like, now that I'm actually on the app, we'll see where they try to send me. Because all of this shit, like, down south and everything, yeah, you ain't getting none of that. If you go down there, you ain't getting shit. I mean, there's not even fucking streets out there. Where that $10 is, that's a fucking mountain right there. The streets stop way back over here. Why the fuck is it $10 up on a mountain? Because if you hit the surge where these streets in, you're going to get, these are all neighborhoods and shit you're cutting through. Anybody in Phoenix knows if you take Elliot all out to where it swings around, it ain't shit out there. It's just pitch black out there. 
that's the end of where you can go. That little fucking road right there, Pima Canyon Road, that's not a real fucking road. It ends. It stops. There's nothing out there. So I don't know what the fuck they're trying to do to trick drivers to go to certain fucking areas and shit. But a lot of people ain't falling for that shit. We not budging. We ain't leaving. Because the moment you leave downtown, they gonna throw all the fucking surge downtown and ain't nobody going to be down here. This motherfucker swear they slick. Swear it. Go back in here real quick. For your vehicles. It's details. Let's go to all. Now let's see what kind of shit lift start sending down a fucking pipe. Probably some fucking trash. Hold up. Let me turn the car back on. See? There's your first piece of trash. And no, I'm not going down there. Fuck that. It's like, you got to go from 4th Street all the way down to 16th Street? Nah, I'm cool on that shit. Not for no fucking three bucks. They can get a, a high AR driver to go do that shit. I'm cool on that. I don't know, they're like, hey, Jeff, we got $3 for you, man. Nope. Not fucking moving. Well, how about a $2 ride? Nope. Not fucking moving. They can keep trying that shit over and over if they want to. I said, they got to come up with better fucking trips. Because, like, tonight, Saturday night, it's 1025. I don't know, a lot of motherfuckers might end up, and the concert was supposed to happen tonight, Madonna was supposed to happen, Madonna canceled, then was another concert, way the fuck out to the west was supposed to happen, Heat canceled that one, so nobody's doing that one because of the heat, and so you get shit like this all fucking night, it's like, eh, because where's my first ride, yeah, 9 o'clock, my first was like 9.03, and it's now... 10 25 so like i said about an hour and a half and it ain't shit out here it's just one of those fucking nights man you're just like nope not doing it not gonna be out here burning my motherfucking gas up like i said i left the house with about 150 miles now i'm down to 134 so i use like 16 fucking miles 16 miles to make like 36 dollars where is that 91st no fuck no that's way the fuck out there like i said i'm not doing that shit so, yeah, they gonna try to get motherfuckers to do all these crazy-ass fucking trips and shit. Ain't nobody doing this shit. Because they got surge all over town except where it's supposed to be. So, I think what I'm gonna do is turn all this shit off any fucking ways. So, lifts off. What about these raggedy motherfuckers? Mm, nope, not doing that one either. I decided to leave downtown. I just took Van Buren straight down. I'm down in Tempe right now, so I still got it on Lux, I think. No, I think I got it on regular. I think I got it on regular right now. But Uber still don't have shit. Like I said, they just, Uber's fucking flat as hell tonight. So I'm kind of kicking that out. But I'm downtown Tempe right now, and man, it is fucking traffic. See that shit? Nah, doubt it fuck that shit and they're 475 feet ahead of me and it's like 16 dollars for 30 fucking minutes of driving i'm like no nah, i'm cool on that shit they somewhere around here but i'm like i'm not that type of fucking driver they summon the wrong fucking car make that shit a lux it's like it's for fucking 16 dollars i'm not driving no 30 fucking minutes down a goddamn road it's like no nah. there's another driver out there looking for that shit like i said i ain't made shit tonight so far because I'm not wasting my fucking time with these apps. If tonight's the night that I don't drive, then that's just the night it is. But one thing I'm not going to do is be a suck-ass motherfucker and be out here driving for pennies on a dollar. Not this fucking car. I'll park this bitch in my driveway before I do that. Like I said, I did those trips on Uber real quick. And I don't, know, I don't think none of those motherfuckers tipped me yet. Or either Uber's holding the fucking tips. Who the fuck knows with these apps? But, yeah, probably won't drive Uber. If they're going to be holding motherfuckers tips all goddamn night, yeah, I'm not fucking with Uber. See that shit? That one, that one, and that one. All three, and that one right there. All these fucking trips. Ain't got no fucking tips on it, so... Yeah, I probably won't be driving Uber to these motherfuckers figure out what they're gonna do with the tips. But, yeah. Look like it's jumping downtown on Mill tonight. I'll probably go up here and fucking park somewhere. But for all these cheap fucking rides, nah. It has gotta be short. Something like, you know, under five fucking miles I'll do. Because under five miles, I could probably get about seven, eight dollars for it. But all these long fucking trips, that shit ain't happening. Not me. Fuck that. 
Yeah, probably. Oh, fuck. Let's do that real quick. They got me going west. Going out here and pick up fucking Lulu. And it's just about to start fucking raining. So, yep, this will be the only fucking trip I do right here. Little trip for Miss Lulu. And now that I'm in Tempe, what did I tell you was going to happen in Phoenix? Look at that. Surge. As soon as we all leave fucking Phoenix, they throw surge up there. Quick as shit. I bet they did the same thing on fucking Uber. Watch. And I was down there for a whole fucking hour and a half. Not a fucking drip of fucking surge in the whole hour and a half I was down there. Downtown Phoenix all fucking night. Not a fucking drip of goddamn surge. And now Uber has no surge. Well, Uber's got 250 sitting down there. Look at that. I was down there all fucking night. Now they want to throw surge down there. Man, these raggedy motherfuckers, fuck them. And here I am down here in fucking Tempe now. And guess what? On Uber, there's no surge in Tempe. And on Lyft, they got surge down here. But I've already declined like a few Lyft fucking rides. Because like I said, I'm not playing these games with these motherfuckers. Because that's what they do. They like to throw surge in areas that you're not to try to get you to go there. See that shit like that? Shh, fuck that. Not even thinking about it. Yeah, I got y'all fucking mind. Because here I am right here, and here's the surge right below me. See, wherever I go, they make sure to take the surge away from it. And that's funny shit right there. So, yeah, I'll probably be done for the fucking night anyways. Let me turn that shit off. Be done these motherfuckers. And Uber's already done. So I'm not even worried about fucking Uber. Because where they at? Let's see something. Yeah, because there's old ragged ass fucking Uber right there. So I ain't got to worry about turning these motherfuckers on. It's only 11 o'clock. I'll turn everything back on around 1 o'clock in the morning. So like I said, I'm not going to sit there and play with these motherfuckers all night. I'll just go home for a couple of hours. I'm going to go home lay down. It's about to rain anyway. Like I said, I got rain all over my fucking windshield. The fucking wind's blowing hard as a motherfucker. It's like, and people ain't even tipping. What the fuck am I out here for? Fuck this shit. Look at this shit. Now that I'm back at home, look, downtown Phoenix is lit up with Surge. Look at that shit. Fucking hilarious. I did with that one ride on fucking Lyft. Yeah, they, she gave me a tip. Cool, cool. Appreciate that shit. 1.7 miles, 8 bucks, and I was right there next to her when I picked her up, so that kind of works. Yeah, but no, this shit's funny. Let me see. And then here we go again. Look. Downtown Phoenix, all that fucking surge. I was down there for an hour and a half last night, not a motherfucking dime of fucking surge. And that's the shit I'm talking about. These raggedy motherfuckers love to do shit like that. They'll sit up there and have you sitting in areas knowing damn well they could be giving you surge on all these little cheap ass fucking rides. But instead, they sit there and, and damn, it's windy as a motherfucker out here. Damn. I didn't know how windy it was. Oh shit, my car is covered in fucking rain. Holy shit, look like goddamn dirt and doo-doo all on my fucking car. Like I said, it's, it was raining and then it stopped. Now I got fucking brown doo-doo spots all over my motherfucking car now. Shit looks horrible. God damn. Yeah, fuck that shit. No, but that's funny shit right there, man. Look at that shit. Surge all downtown where I was earlier. Damn, it's windy as shit out here. I got the tarps all down on the fucking Jeep and everything. But yeah, fuck this shit. I'm out of here. I'm done for the night. Especially when it starts raining. I'm not fucking with these people. Shit. Hold up for a second. Let me go. Come on, fucking door. Open. God damn it. There we go. I'm out of here. Fuck this shit. What's up, killer dogs? What's up? Yeah, so I just got back in the house. Me and my little killer pups here. What's up, killer dog? What are you doing? What are you doing? Where are you going? Come here. What you doing, huh? Y'all want a snack? Y'all want treats? Y'all want some treats? Watch this shit. Speak. 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 You want a treat? Speak. Dash, get in here. Come on. What's up, buddy? What's good? What's good? Now you want to bark? What's up, buddy? You want a treat? You want a treat too? Huh? You want a treat? What do you want? Who wants what? Who wants what? What do you want? What? What do you want? Huh? 
What are you looking for? You want a tree? You want a tree too? What about you, killer? Come here. Come here. Come here. You want a tree too? Huh? You want a tree? You want a tree? You want a tree? Huh? Y'all are fucking crazy. Let's go. Here you go. One, two, three. Enjoy it. And that was my Saturday night. Called it good. But then I went back out Sunday, did a little bit better. Seven o'clock Sunday night. Just getting started. I got 121 miles till empty. I haven't filled up in a couple of days, so probably gonna have to get gas tonight if I don't run this 121 down. I'll probably run it down to about 50 miles and then put all new gas in. Not that mixing gas is bad, but you know me. I do shit a little different. All right, what do we got? Yeah, we got a bullshit trip one up to Scottsdale. Not taking that shit at all. We don't do those kind of trips. Yeah, but I'm gonna probably head over here. Uh, I'm gonna go down Broadway and see if I can't hit like a gas station going down Broadway. There's a Circle K sitting right in front of me, but I don't like that one. There's too many homeless motherfuckers over there. They be bothering me and shit all the fucking time. I don't like that shit. Cause I'm an easy going motherfucker. Everybody know me. But man, if, when I'm busy working, trying to go out and make fucking money, invest and putting up big money to do shit, they don't come up asking me for nothing for free. I don't like that shit. It's, it's way too much work to be going on in this motherfucking world. It's so much litter on the fucking ground. What these homeless motherfuckers should do is go around with a broom and a fucking dustpan and some black trash bags and be like, hey, what if we clean up your area, man? Can we get paid for that? What if we sweep like your sidewall, clean up all the trash out of the gutter, you know, clean up around your house? Can I get paid for that? But instead of doing some, some beneficial shit, doing something, these motherfuckers like to just ask you for shit. Motherfucker, I'm working. I'm about to leave my motherfucking house, go put some gas in my car that I gotta pay for, insurance I gotta pay. I mean, there's way too much shit in this fucking world to be asking motherfuckers for fucking money. Do something. If you do something and I value what you do, I'll give you money. I'm not doing that. Don't just walk the fuck up asking me for money because I gotta work for mine. I gotta hit the motherfucking pavement and work. So for me to give to a motherfucker that don't work, I don't like that shit. I just don't like it. Like I said, I ain't got no, no shit against no homeless people and stuff like that. I have no beef with no fucking body. But, you know, understand that when you seeing motherfuckers dumping all this money in the gas tanks and shit, you walking up to the wrong motherfucker as for something for free. Wrong one. So you gotta fucking just realize what you involved with and be like, hey man, you know, I'm gonna go walk around the neighborhood and clean up. You know, got my trash bags, I got my broom, my mop and shit. Let me go clean up a neighborhood and see if the neighbors all wanna pitch in. Everybody give me five, ten dollars a piece for cleaning up the neighborhood. You know, make yourself fucking useful, man. This begging shit is getting old. I don't like that shit. I'm just not that motherfucker. I'm really not. Like a homeless motherfucker come through my neighborhood telling me he gonna pick all the weeds in my yard and shit. Man, what if I what if I pick all the weeds in your yard, man? You know, just give me a bag and I'll pick all these weeds up, man. I got some gloves and everything. Should I give you fucking 20 bucks? Fuck, because I was going to have to do this shit myself. But if you do this shit, I'll do it. Fuck it. Here, 20 bucks. Do all the motherfucking weeds. But these motherfuckers just walk up to you. Hey, man, you got any spare change? No, I got some spare work for you to do at my motherfucking house if you can make it there. You want to go pick up some weeds and clean up the motherfucking sidewalk for me? I'll give you a fucking shovel. You can get all the dead grass from in between the cracks and shit. I mean, if you're going to ask me for some fucking money, I got some work for your ass. Because I got to go out and fucking work. Shit, why not you gotta go out and work, motherfucker? Let's let's keep this shit real. Let's make it real. Motherfucker, if you want some money, I'll give you some money. But I ain't got no money for free. I got some money for a, for a benefit. Shit, do something around this motherfucker. Let's make this shit happen, Captain. I don't fuck around, man. Like I said, I, I'm in no shortage of having great ideas to make fucking money. I'm not short. Too many homeless motherfuckers is asking for a handout. We got way too much work to be done in this world for a handout. We can fucking do something. Hey, even that dusty motherfucker last night trying to wash people's windows with fucking dirty ass mop water. At least he was trying, but I don't want that shit on my motherfucking car. But at least he trying to do something. You gotta fucking do some shit around this motherfucker. Be a benefit. Get some fucking money. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna hit up this motherfucking gas station right here real quick. Cause I got, what, 123 miles till empty? And I ain't doing them but sending me some shit trips any fucking ways. It's not like I'm really missing out on nothing. Out of order for that motherfucker. Let me scoot up a little bit. This one might be in order. Uh, looks like it's in order. 
Unlike a motherfucking Tesla, I'm already done filling up. <laughs> I always give Tesla shit all the time. I swear I'm gonna buy one of those motherfuckers one day. Because I don't think I'll use it as my main piece of shit, but I'll definitely fucking buy that motherfucker. I, mean, I gotta keep a Beamer as my main piece of shit so I can be out in the road rolling. Fuck that. They fuck around and, and be stuck. Gotta go fill up. Gotta go recharge that motherfucker. Pull up to a goddamn charger station and half the motherfuckers broke. I gotta sit there for three hours waiting on one of those motherfuckers. Fuck that shit. Where we at? We right there. Probably no fucking surge around me or nothing like that. Let's see what the fuck these raggedy motherfuckers give me today. Probably give me nothing. Cause I'm right on the outside of the fucking surge. Cause you know how those motherfuckers be. Look at shit. They'll, they'll, they got me surrounded by gray. Look at that shit. Motherfucker, I ain't nowhere. They, they make sure the surge is real fucking close to me. But they make sure they got a radius around my fucking car so I don't get shit. No raggedy motherfuckers. Fuck them. <laughs> they old fucking two dollars. Swear these apps are so fucking jank. Shit, see shit like that come through. If they would have gave me the two dollars, it would have been seven dollars. I would have probably took the motherfuckers. With the fact that they pull this shit, fuck them. I'm gonna take that fucking ride. They can kiss my ass. Y'all gonna be skimpy with two fucking dollars. Fuck y'all. I don't like that shit, man. I can't stand fucking apps that do shit like that. Living Uber notorious for that shit. These motherfuckers, to save funky fucking two dollars, they'll fucking have a driver doing some unheard of shit. Like, fuck these raggedy apps, man. Y'all gotta look out for yourself out here. I was like, wait a fuck a minute. I, it was just goddamn $5. Then it was $20. And it's, man, fuck all that. Look at this shit. They want me to go fucking almost 18 miles for like $12. They don't give me a dollar surge. Y'all motherfuckers need to make that shit more like a six, seven dollar surge. That's too far of a fucking ride for me for that price. I mean, I can make that shit on a trip going fucking four miles. Why do I need to go fucking 17? <laughs> shit. $12 for four miles. I could do that. 17 for 12? No. Multiply that by four. That's forty-eight dollars I just made on four four-mile trips like that. But these motherfuckers, they want to have you do that shit once. Seven, you get twelve dollars instead of getting forty-eight. I mean, they short fucking thirty-six dollars, and that's how they get these motherfucking drivers. They get them taking all these little shit rides. I'll take that. They get them taking all these little fucking shit rides all the fucking time, and then they fuck around. And and at the end of the week, these motherfuckers download like fucking six hundred bucks and be like, dude, you could have downloaded almost fucking twelve hundred. You downloaded $600 and you like, yeah, man, this is more than I got paid at my regular job. It's like, dude, you could have got paid twice that amount had you drove smarter. But let me go pick up these raggedy motherfuckers. Let me make sure I turn Lyft off because I had the Lux on. I'm running Lyft Lux tonight because I don't want to do no regular Lyft shit because Lyft is still in tips, I think. So I'm not really fucking with them that much. Like I said, I'll probably do Lyft Lux and, and hopefully get some good rides with that shit. But no. Hazel, oh shit. I bet this motherfucker's like 70 years old. Hazel at Culver's. You know old people love that fucking Culver's anyway. They love that shit. I ate there once. It was a hamburger. Man, that motherfucker was so greasy. Two quick trips real fast. Like I said, I was actually dropping that uh, one lady off, uh, Hazel. Hazel was actually a little kid. She was like a little girl or whatever. She worked at Culver's. <laughs> so I was dropping her off. And then I picked up Ben right down the street from there. So I dropped her off. And as soon as I dropped her off, he was down the street. So I was like, shit, let me go grab him. I mean, he was like right around the fucking corner. Look at that shit, 19 fucking miles. Hell no. So he was like right around the corner. So I shot around the corner and picked him up right on Southern. Because I dropped her off. I picked her up on Southern, dropped her off at Alameda, went back to Southern, picked him up, dropped him off on Broadmoor. It was like, this is like a little quick circle. So it wasn't too bad. Oh, do I want to do four miles for that? Nah, because Uber's trying this shit too much to me right now. They fucking with me now. You can't keep sending me three, four fucking dollars. Because look at this shit. $3.99, $4.99, $3.99, $4.75, $4.79, $5.62. That's the shit they've been sending me since this $17. $4.29, $9.24, $5.90. This is the shit they've been sending me. $17.99, $20. And then before that, $25. When you start accepting that little shit, they just keep fucking sending it over and over again. That's why I'm like, fuck it. I'm not accepting no more little fucking Tic Tac shit. Because the more you try to help these motherfuckers out, they're going to say, oh, 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 he's the driver that'll keep taking these little fucking cheap rides. Throw some surge on that motherfucker and I'll take them. Like I said, as long as you keep accepting bullshit, they're going to keep sending it. That's why I'm like, fuck it. I'll do two. But after that, y'all need to send me something better than that. If y'all not sending me shit better than that, fuck it. Motherfuckers ain't going to be getting rides. Let me go over the lift real quick, see what the fuck they up to. 
Like I said, I'm not gonna be sitting there all fucking night doing goddamn four dollar fucking rides. That's why I ended my night last night because they started that shit with me, and I was like, oh fuck, hit the. See, that's the thing, hitting the fucking buttons or whatever. It was like I didn't try to hit that fucking shit. I'm trying to touch my screen. Get a fucking slide, motherfuckers. Get a slide accept rule so you quit doing that shit. Fucking hate these raggedy fucking apps. Uber is the worst with that shit. Like you try to touch it on your screen and you cannot just slide stuff over with Uber. It makes you automatically accept whatever the fuck. You could touch the screen anywhere. You just accepted that fucking ride. I cancel that shit so fucking fast. Fuck them. It's like, especially if I don't see the information, that ain't got shit to do with me. It's like, I didn't accept that. Y'all try to give me that. I'm not fucking stupid. But yeah, let me open this motherfucker up, see what they got. Because like I said, you can see all the rides that I was doing with they ass. And this is what they keep sending me. $399, $499, $399, $475, $479, $562. And I mean, they're, they're short fucking rides, but they ain't no surge on them, no fucking tips on them. It ain't nothing. They ain't got shit for these fucking rides. And with no tips, I'm not fucking with them, man. Y'all sent me enough bullshit already. So start either sending me riders that's gonna tip or give me a fucking tip or a surge or fuck you. Just bottom line, fuck you on that. And I'll just start driving fucking Lyft. Like I said, I got Lyft open right now with Lux. I can open up Lyft regular. See, I'm not doing that shit right there. They keep sending these cheap fucking rides because I started accepting them. Like I said, don't get caught up in that fucking loop. Be cool with declining dumb shit. Be cool with that shit. See what the fuck they talking about. Nope, not that either. Yeah, you gotta be cool with fucking getting rid of bullshit. Let's go to Lyft regular ride, see what the fuck they got. Cause like I said, you keep accepting this random fucking shit they sending, oh, they gonna keep sending it cause they, to the algorithm, you look like the sucker that's taking it. You look like the motherfucker that's like, oh man, he gonna be doing $4 rides all fucking night, man. He can do, fuck no, nah, look at that shit. 25 fucking mile, 14 bucks, no surge. No, sir. That's what we need to say. No surge. No, sir. Fuck that shit. No surge. No, sir. <laughs> I'm going to make that fucking shirt, goddammit. Hey, that shit going to be on jambts.com. No surge. No, sir. <laughs> but these motherfuckers keep sending fucking trips. We already ain't getting no tips and shit like that. And now they ain't giving us surge or tips. And they fucking stock prices going through the roof because they fucking ripping us off right now. They bank accounts looking good as shit because they like, yeah, Keep all the money, retain all the money, don't pay out shit, pay shit out next month. Keep all the money right now and just start sending them, trickle it back to them in like the forms of bonuses and shit like that. So we can ensure that they gonna get their fucking tip, but we not telling them how they gonna get it. We gonna give it back to them in the form of a fucking bonus. Hey, you want a bonus? Drive 20 fucking rides and we'll give you $20. Motherfucker, that is my $20. You kept my $20. That's the $20 you never fucking gave me. Now I gotta earn that shit back through a bonus? Motherfucker, that is my money. Well, we told you drivers are gonna get 100% of the tips. We didn't tell you what you're gonna do to get those motherfuckers, though. <laughs> you had to jump through fucking hoops to get your fucking tip. Motherfucker, they tipped me for the service I did. I should be getting the tip for the service that I already did. Nope, you gotta jump through hoops to get your tip, my. We'll give it to you, but as a bonus, these motherfuckers will classify shit left and right as funky shit and have you doing crazy shit to get your money back. So I'm like, fuck these people, man. We gotta fucking make them pay up. If they don't pay up, fuck them. Seriously, fuck them. I'm not gonna be rolling all motherfucking day for no reason. Now Lyft is all glitching and shit. They don't even show the zero at the top. I'm telling you, man, Lyft got a raggedy as fucking app out of all of them. They shit always hanging up. That's where these motherfuckers got their goddamn software from Wish. These motherfuckers said, we wish we had a ride share. They ordered that shit through fucking Wish. And that's why they all fucked up all the time. Fucking old Wish ass fucking app. <laughs> now the zero pops up. That's how you know the shit's working now. Like this old fucking, they got a server from Wish. What the fuck? These motherfuckers got that shit. They said, yeah, we ordered new servers from Wish on the internet. Fucking cheap ass fucking app. Like y'all need to upgrade y'all shit, man. And don't use fucking Wish. Stop ordering shit off the internet. These motherfuckers ordered a goddamn server and got fucking cash registers from 1975 and shit. They're like, yeah, our servers just showed up. They opened a the box of old ass fucking cash registers from like Woolworth and shit like that. Like, what the fuck is this? Servers, motherfucker. Now y'all can serve people. <laughs> it's like, God damn it. These motherfuckers got the cheapest fucking app out of all of them. I swear. It was like, they got goddamn walkie talkies and shit in the office. They don't even have an intercom system. These motherfuckers walking around with Walmart walkie talkies. Sarah, come to the break room. Motherfucking ass. <laughs> like like y'all got some Walmart ass. Why they got baby monitors and shit in the fucking conference room? I can hear you. 
Like, this Fisher-Price-ass fucking monitor, this is a baby monitor, what the fuck? This shit says first step on it. That's a baby monitor, man. Well, I thought y'all had an intercom system at Lyft. No, man, we, we cutting costs. These motherfuckers running around with fucking baby monitors and walkie-talkies and shit. <laughs> it's like the fuck, man? Cheap-ass fucking app. Get your fucking money up, Lyft. You motherfuckers are crazy, man. I swear. And I'm one of those motherfuckers, you know, I like to drive. So I don't mind driving for the right price. But the, the shit these apps be doing us, man, fuck that. Look at that, seven bucks. Seven bucks for seven miles. Tempe Marketplace. I gotta go three miles away to come four miles back. Man, fuck no. Because I know these motherfuckers are at Tempe Marketplace. They got bags of shit. These motherfuckers went shopping. And you want me to fucking go pick up some fucking freaking flyer mile ass shoppers? Fuck them. For seven bucks? No. They probably paid like fucking eleven, twelve dollars for that ride. You could at least give me nine. It's fucking damn near eight fucking miles. At least give me nine dollars out of the shit. These motherfuckers gonna give me seven, seven fucking dollars. And I gotta load my motherfucking trunk up with bags of the shit they done fucking bought. Fuck no, it's probably goddamn Christmas decorations on fucking sale. It's the middle of fucking summer. And these motherfuckers buying Christmas decorations. I'm gonna have goddamn glitter and shit from ornaments all in my fucking trunk. Goddamn holly reef shit all in my car. Motherfuckers buying goddamn Christmas shit in summertime just to save fucking money. Cheap motherfuckers. That's where these riders so goddamn cheap using this fucking wish ass lip app. Fucking cash register, baby monitor having motherfuckers. There we go. Let's do that. We got to go over to Sky Harbor and pick this motherfucker up. Kathy. All right, Kathy. Let's go. Because I knew this was going to do that shit. Because usually when these motherfuckers throw a surge on your phone and you ain't sitting in the fucking surge, it's to get your ass to go to where there's a surge. The only surge is at the airport. I did that quick Lux ride. And then I had a ride right around the corner from her when I picked her up. So I did that quick ride right there. So it was really about 25 miles, not no 15, because I was about nine miles away. So about 25 miles for 30 bucks. And then I did this ride right behind it. She was right around the corner, so it was like a mile tour. So it was probably about 15 miles for 14 bucks. Now this is the problem with this ride right here. I think this was a medical ride. And I made sure I put on there, she needs a different car, not this car. Because I showed up, she had a walker and shit. Cool, no problem, let's get the walker in the back. The problem, and she has like back problems so as we're driving and you know how people in phoenix know how phoenix streets are built they built these streets to help conduct water so we got dips and divots everywhere so it can conduct water to certain areas we have a lot of runoff when it rains here so to prevent an area from flooding they create big divots in the road every single fucking divot we hit oh my god my back hurts oh my god i'm gonna die oh my god i've never felt these bumps oh my god this is i'm just like Fuck that. So I three-starred the lady. And it let it said unmatched. You, you can edit this match later. I put unmatched with rider and I and they put a reason. I said she needs a medical ride. Not a motherfucking BMW. She needs a goddamn medical ride. Send her ass a fucking ambulance next time. The fuck my BMW said every fucking time we go down the street. Oh, this is so bummed. Oh, I can't believe all oh, my back is hurt. Um that's I was like, oh, is this like not comfortable for you? Well, that's why I have a walker, you know, my back, and I'm like. Why the fuck are you doing Lyft and Uber with fucked up backs and shit? It's like, you should be fucking having a medical service pick you up. If going through the streets of fucking Phoenix, which we know are created a certain way for water and irrigation, we can't change that shit. There's nothing we can do about that. So you've got to find a fucking way how to get your ass around town without feeling every five fucking seconds the road is killing you. So I unmatched and shit. I don't play that shit. Don't do me like that. Don't send me no motherfucking ambulance rides and shit. And these motherfuckers that live probably know that this was probably a medical ride they sent me. And it's like, that's why they got to learn to match riders with drivers and, and make sure motherfuckers are saying what kind of riders these are. Because if you got motherfuckers with broke backs and shit riding fucking cars, I don't be liable for this lady's emergencies and shit. And these rides are all fucked up. I don't be liable for her motherfucking emergencies. You know, she get the fuck out half paralyzed and shit like that. Now I got to drive my ass to a fucking hospital and deal with this shit. It's like, man, come on, Lip. Y'all motherfuckers know better. Quit trying to make a buck off of fucking people. Sitting there paying me a shit fucking ride, a shit fucking fare. Just take this broke back motherfucker around town. It's like, come on, man. Don't do me like that. Y'all know how these fucking roads are out here. This shit's raggedy out here. I'm not doing none of these fucking rides. They give me all these fucking shit rides now. It's like, don't fucking start doing me like that. Lips is giving me two shit rides in a row because that Lux ride was really a shit ride because it was 10 miles to get to those motherfuckers damn near and then it was a 15 mile fucking ride so 25 miles 
for fucking for 30 fucking bucks. That's what it was right there. 25 miles, $30 for a Lux. That's worse than my motherfucking Uber X rates. That's like, that's a goddamn dollar a fucking mile goddamn ride. I mean, they should have made that ride at least fucking $45. And I know I ain't going to get no tip for the motherfucker because that's how these raggedy ass apps is. I ain't going to get no tip. So that's a true 30 fucking dollars for like 25 fucking miles of goddamn driving. Fuck these motherfuckers. That's why I am the way I am with these apps. This is business. It ain't shit personal. Stop sending broke back motherfuckers to hop in the goddamn BMW with sports suspension. Fucking crying every fucking time we go over a fucking bump. Oh, oh. Every time I hit a fucking bump. Oh. I'm like, this is the fucking street, motherfucker. I don't know what to tell you. She's like, I don't know if I can continue this ride. My And she's going to work. How the fuck do you even have a job with a broke fucking back? If you sitting there riding around, oh, my back is so old. This is hurting my back. I can't believe. Oh. So I made sure I three-starred her motherfucking ass as soon as she got out. And it's right. Medical reasons. Motherfucker, don't match me with this kind of shit. Don't do me like that. Don't fuck up my night. Send this motherfucker ambulance next time. Let her ass take ambulances back and forth from work all the fucking time. Maybe they're more comfortable. I don't fucking know. But this is the Beamer. This motherfucker got sports suspension. I fucking I ain't never had nobody complain about it not being comfortable. And this motherfucker, the whole time I'm riding, I'm like... I, just, I almost pulled the fuck over and put her in a motherfucking walker out of the fucking CVS. Be like, you can get out and fucking walk from here. Fuck that shit. You got a walker. What the fuck you think a walker is for? It's to walk. Here you go, motherfucker. Start walking. Every time I hit a fucking bump, oh, oh, all in my motherfucking ear and shit. Oh, like, man, I'm about to drop your motherfucking ass off with that fucking walker. It's like, don't, don't fucking play games with me. Don't. It's one thing to be like, oh my God, that kind of hurts and, and keep, but don't, don't exaggerate the fucking shit. And if you really that motherfucking sore and it really hurts that fucking bad, tell me to pull over. Say, Jeff, I can't get to you this ride. Pull over. Let me call another fucking Uber. Let me call an ambulance or a fucking bus. And I know she take the fucking bus because she even said, oh, well, the way the bus goes. So I know she take the fucking bus. Motherfucker said something about the bus. So I'm like, okay, a bus, a bus suspension is different from a BMW suspension. Bus is a heavy motherfucker. You might not feel all these divots and bumps in the fucking bus. She's like, oh, I didn't know the road was this bumpy. Like, motherfucker, it's big ass divots in the road. I bottom out all the fucking time out here. Like, fuck no, I'm not doing that. Fuck no. Like, I bottom out all the fucking time on these fucking roads. These roads as raggedy as a motherfucker. Then on top of that, they make them for fucking water. They put channels all through all the intersections so water can be channeled out of neighborhoods. Don't fucking complain to me, motherfucker. It's like, shit. I had to three-star her ass. I said, no, I'm cool on that shit. I said, I don't even expect a motherfucking tip. Three-star that shit. Be done with it. Be just done with it. And Lip, Lip got a fucking ass day passengers. Do you need any special assistance when you ride? Is your back fucked up? Is your legs fucked up? Do you need any special assistance? It's like, And that's probably why her ass probably had a hard time. Because one time she said she was late. She said, the driver made me late for work because he was going so slow. Because you probably told him to slow the fuck down. And me, I wasn't going slow. She probably complained the whole time doing his motherfucking ride. And he probably started going slower as to not hit the fucking bumps and shit. But these roads are what they are. I wasn't slowing the fuck down. If your ass end up fucking paralyzed, sue motherfucking live. I don't know what to tell you. They shouldn't have sent you this fucking ride. You probably shouldn't even be on a goddamn platform. If you're in that much medical fucking emergencies of shit... You probably shouldn't be on this fucking platform. You should be on a medical platform that has medical fucking vehicles. Don't be on no ride share platform that gives people fucking rides. No, fuck no. I'm not doing that either. It's like these motherfuckers don't get it, man. They don't get it. We in this shit to make money. This is a fucking business. This ain't no fucking game, man. And these motherfuckers out here playing games with people's lives and shit. If a motherfucker got a medical problem, do not throw them in a fucking sports car. That's rule number fucking one. If you have a back problem, you do not need to be riding no motherfucking sports car. Who the fuck does that? Don't match that motherfucker with no car that's got a sports suspension. Zero. Take her ass completely out of the fucking queue. And be like, yeah, you won't be doing any fucking rides in none of these fucking cars. You can only do fucking 1985 Lincoln Continentals and motherfucking 1950 Cadillacs. Fucking Sedan DeVille's and shit. Those fucking suspensions is like riding on a fucking cloud. If we can find one of those on the app, we'll send that big ass Cadillac to you. We'll send a fucking Fleetwood to your motherfucking house. Big ass Broham, pull the fuck up. Motherfucking leather seats and fucking velvet ass fucking dashboard and shit. Big ass fucking spokes on the motherfucking trues and bowls and shit, pull up. 
Like, what the fuck is this? This is Uber Pimp, motherfucker. Uber Pimp. God damn it. Motherfuckers out here with broke backs and shit riding around in sports cars. The fuck wrong with people, man? Like, use your fucking common sense. Yelling in my motherfucking ear is not cool. That shit is not fucking cool. Oh, oh. Motherfucker, get out of my fucking ear. Yell that shit out the fucking window. Let your fucking window down and stick your fucking head out like a cocker spaniel. Yell out the fucking window. Don't yell in my motherfucking ear. Shit, I almost pulled the fuck over. That walker was about to get some serious fucking work tonight because I was going to be like, you need to walk from here. Just fucking get them fucking wheels moving. Them some little ass bitty old fucking roller skate tires too. Man, these motherfuckers. You know what? I think I'm done. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to hit accept. God damn it. Well, I'm going to fucking Casino, Arizona. All right. Fuck it. You know what? I'm not going to Casino, Arizona. Actually, I'm not. Cancel ride. My fucking bad. Accepted it by accident. I don't want that fucking ride. As a matter of fact, I'm going to get off this fucking app altogether. Fucking garbage. Keep sending me shit fucking rides all the time. Fuck this shit. Because ain't nobody tipping any fucking ways. It was okay. Whatever. Motherfuckers ain't tipping me any fucking ways. I ain't got to go pick these motherfuckers up. Fuck this. Like I said, I don't play that shit. Motherfuckers don't tip and then they expect us to drive all these fucking miles and shit. Fuck that. I'd rather just take my motherfucker. That's what I did Saturday. You know, I was out driving Saturday and motherfuckers wasn't tipping, wasn't doing shit, this and that. So I just turned the apps off and went home and went to sleep. Fuck that shit. I could use some sleep. Say, so fuck the rest of this shit. All these motherfuckers are like, oh shit, we getting a BMW. No, you're not. Turning this motherfucker off. Shit. I'll turn Uber on for a little bit, see what these raggedy motherfuckers talking about. Send me some motherfucking decrepit ass motherfuckers. That's why a lot of times I'd be like, I can't go to the hospital to pick nobody up. Because there'd be too many decrepit motherfuckers walking out. And they'd be getting their cars and shit complaining, leaning all sideways and shit. And you fucking turn a goddamn corner, they want to complain. Like, this ain't no fucking ambulance. I hope you got medical insurance. Call a fucking ambulance. Quit using goddamn ride share for fucking medical rides. This shit's not set up for that. Like, I just hit a bump right now coming down the street. That bitch would have been like, oh, oh. Motherfucker, this is not a fucking medical ride. Quit doing us like that. Because I ain't got time. These motherfuckers is, is putting themselves in a very precarious situation with liability, taking motherfuckers with body problems all over this fucking town in these goddamn cars. It's like, call ambulances. Call motherfucking vans and shit that got soft-ass suspensions that can take medical people and walkers and fucking wheelchairs and shit everywhere. That's why we have services like that. Stop being fucking cheapskates and putting motherfuckers in goddamn sports cars breaking they fucking backs and shit fucking these goddamn ride share apps man they have no fucking morals and value now had i would have known that motherfucker had medical problems i would have canceled the ride from the get-go and declined the motherfucker i pull up i'm sitting in front of the house i ain't even see her walking out because she on a fucking walker i turned around she's standing next to the car with a big ass fucking walker sitting there i'm like hold the fuck up are you the yep so i gotta fold the motherfucker up throw it in the back whole time I'm thinking, this is not what I do. I don't do medical fucking rides. What the fuck, man? Should have went with my gut instinct and told her, hey, I'm having a car problem. I got to cancel this fucking ride. <laughs> it's like, my fucking car is overheating right now. I'm sorry, it just started overheating right when you walked out the fucking door. I got to cancel this ride. But nope, I took the fucking medical ride, and sure enough, the whole fucking time, oh, oh, motherfucker. Like, shit, that shit irritates the fuck out of me, man. Not everybody's entitled to business with everybody. Some people just not equipped for that shit. The, all these fucking cars are not just used for fucking, you know, bodies and shit like that. Mother, we can't just go pick up a motherfucking dead body, some fucker. Hey, Jeff, we got a casket sitting over on the side of the road. Could you go pick up that casket? We'll make it a lux for you. This ain't a motherfucking Hirsch. I can just pick up fucking people. This ain't no fucking Hirsch. I don't just drive around with dead bodies and shit in my fucking car. Well, we giving you a lux. We giving you at least $2 a mile. Motherfucker, this is not a hearse. But they be trying to use ride share for everything under the fucking sun. U-Hauls, moving dogs and shit. Motherfucker, this is not pet services. It's fucking Beamer, man. Like, ha have some goddamn common sense. Quit trying to use everybody's car for every fucking thing. These motherfuckers probably have us hauling goddamn concrete and luxury cars. Hey, fuck these people, man. Can't tear these fucking cars up for everybody. Like, this shit's fucking crazy, man. This shit's fucking crazy. And they ain't even willing to pay us for it. They fuck my shit up. I put a walker in the back and it, the walker scratch up my car, fuck up my car. What do you think these apps are going to say? You should. You, it was your choice to pick that person up. It was your choice. This was on you. You didn't have to pick them up. 
You know, you chose to allow that ride. We're not responsible for all them scratches and shit up and down the back of your car from that fucking walker not fitting. That was on you. You could have just declined the ride. That's exactly what these motherfuckers will say. But yet I'm the asshole for even speaking like this right now. I'm the asshole for keeping it one on it. It's like, no, the asshole is after y'all motherfuckers scratch my fucking car up and then I go the fuck off. That's the asshole coming out. Me preempting the shit and letting y'all motherfuckers know. Stop sending us fucking medical rides. Call ambulances or fucking SUVs or goddamn minivans. Don't be having luxury fucking cars show for medical rides. This shit ain't cool. Motherfuckers. I see you, motherfucker. And now these motherfuckers starting to send me goddamn deliveries and shit right now. Like I said, I could take that 644. I could do it. They just sent me a $2 McDonald's order and shit. And then they sent me that one. And I'm like, $2 for fucking McDonald's? It's like, you might as well get that $2 to your motherfucking neighbor. Give them to your next door neighbor and be like, walk across the street and get my fucking hamburger for me. Here's $2. Just, I'm gonna give you two bucks, walk across the street, get my motherfucking hamburgers, because it was like $2 for like 0.5 miles. It was like, okay, I'm gonna give you $2, you're gonna bring me my fucking hamburger. I mean, I got fucking gasoline I'm using, tires, brakes, serpentine belt, and, and you give your motherfucker $2 to your neighbor, all he gonna do is walk in them old dusty ass fucking Skechers he fucking wearing. He ain't wearing shit out. Let him walk his ass over to them dusty ass fucking Skechers for $2 and get your fucking dusty ass hamburger. But to tell a motherfucker in a goddamn car, I'm gonna give you $2. It's like it ain't even worth nobody fucking time for that shit. Like I could see if I was on a quest and I needed one more ride to get like $800 or some shit, I'll go chill $2 fucking hamburger. Look at that flimsy floppy motherfucker. But for $2 just to go pick up a foot, man, get that shit to your next door neighbor. Be like, dude, put on them old dusty ass sketchers you be cutting grass in and go get my fucking hamburger. I'm going to give you this $2. That motherfucker probably look at you sideways and start laughing. Got goddamn chlorophyll all over his motherfucking shoes and shit from cutting grass every fucking day. Fucking weed eating ass shoes. And this motherfucker don't even want your $2. What the fuck do I want it for? We cruising in, in a fucking car thousand dollar tires on this motherfucker serpentine belts and brakes and shit like that and you want to give me two motherfucking dollars to drop off your old fucking floppy ass hamburger keep that fucking two dollars you need it more than i do because i'm not gonna be that motherfucker i'm just not because i'm pulling up next to this spot right here what is this an italian ice cream place i'm gonna park in this parking lot and watch these motherfuckers eat their ice cream <laughs> no i'm not gonna watch them fuck them i'm gonna face the other way I don't watch these motherfuckers drizzle goddamn cream down their fucking face. Bunch of sloppy motherfuckers need baby bibs looking ass motherfuckers. Eat your fucking ice cream like you got a bottom lip. Quit drooling, motherfucker. Okay, I'm back on lift. There's a ride one mile away, one minute away for 11 bucks. Watch this motherfucker be like 18 miles. Watch this shit. <laughs> Look at this shit. What did I tell you? 16 fucking miles. What did I fucking tell you? I just wanted to see. I don't want to take your dusty ass no motherfucking Gilbert. Fuck that. I just wanted to see what the fuck it was about. And it's like 800 fucking feet away. It's like, and like I said, these motherfuckers ain't tipping. So we ain't, we ain't tripping off this shit. We laughing at this shit. This shit's funny to us. We watching these motherfuckers sit around all day trying to find rides. The apps won't, either the apps are stealing y'all fucking tips or y'all motherfuckers just not tipping. Either way, y'all not getting in our fucking car. It's like, maybe be like, hey man, listen. Uh, we tired of the app stealing from y'all. We're going to just start sliding cash all the fucking time. Everybody start just giving cash. Because the apps ain't giving these drivers their fucking money. And these drivers ain't picking nobody up. Y'all got to figure some shit out. Because I see shit like that. That shit's laughable to me. It's like, ain't no motherfucking way I'm going to drive all the fucking way down to Gilbert for no motherfucking $11. That's a long ass goddamn ride. It's like, fuck that shit. I'm cool on that. I can see if it was like $11 for like, you know, seven miles. Cool, I'll take eleven dollars for seven miles, eight miles, I'll do it. These motherfuckers like sixteen miles, no, not happening. Fuck and he only like I said, motherfucker eight hundred something feet away from me. So I know you see my car sitting over here like damn man, I almost had that car. No, you didn't, you weren't even close, motherfucker. Trust me, you wasn't. Not for that price, you weren't even fucking close. I'll be like, I almost had that car, shit. Motherfucker almost counts in goddamn horseshoes and hand grenades, goddamn it. Not in fucking ride share. <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker almost had that beamer. No, you didn't, motherfucker. Wasn't even close. Your ass wasn't even fucking close for that price. <laughs> you was way the fuck off. Fucking $11 for 16 miles. You at least fucking $6 short. 
Like, motherfucker, either you six dollars short or you're six miles short. Take six miles off or add six dollars. Whatever the fuck you want to do, you, you, either way works with me. But at the current fucking transaction, I'm not fucking with that. I'm just not fucking with that. Like, let's go back to ragged ass Uber, fucking goddamn rug rat ass fucking apps. What's this? No, Uber is the fucking garbage pail kids. These are the garbage pail kids. They send a lot of trash. Fucking rug rats is Lyft. Rug rat motherfuckers. I think Lyft was the one with the lady with the broke back any fucking ways. Like, she didn't have a broke back for real, but I'm just saying, she was always talking about her back. My back, this kind of hurts, makes my back sore. Like, motherfucker, whatever. It's like, shit. Next time, I hope you get that motherfucking Lincoln Continental with the kissing doors on that motherfucker. Big ass white walls and fucking trues and bows on that bitch. Get you a 1979 car that rides smooth as a motherfucker. Get your ass out of that work. They think your ass is a fucking gangster. <laughs> it's like, the fuck? She got this old ass motherfucking car? Yeah. Motherfucking rust bucket. That's what your ass get for complaining about a fucking BMW. You got a rust bucket dropping your ass off. But it rides smooth as a motherfucker, I'm telling you. Them goddamn Lincolns is like fucking land sharks. Those motherfuckers just cruise. You can drive over motherfucking train tracks with no fucking gravel and you won't even feel that shit. Fucking them Lincoln Continentals be riding, boy. Them motherfucking strut systems before they time. Airport ride. They have me go four miles to Mesa to pick a motherfucker up to go 10 miles back to the airport. That's 14 motherfucking miles. Damn near 14 fucking miles for $7.50 <laughs> to the fucking airport. These motherfuckers are straight comedy. It's fucking, this is Sunday night comedy right here. Gotta be. These apps is having a fucking, these motherfuckers probably got popcorn and shit in the motherfucking office. They're over there drinking fucking cream soda, vanilla cream and orange cream soda. They're like, let's fucking fuck with these drivers all night. You got your popcorn ready? Let's fuck with them. Because these motherfuckers is having a field day fucking with us tonight. All these goddamn cheap ass fucking rides. Motherfuckers got us driving around decrepit ass motherfucking riders and shit. They fucking with us right now. They knew that shit was going to get on my nerves. They'd be like, you want to fuck with Jeff? Jeff been talking all that shit on the internet. Let's fuck with him. Get his motherfucker Sally Mae. Let his ass take fucking Sally Mae down. No name Ab and Wes McKinley. Shit, fuck that shit. These motherfuckers made me go pick up fucking Sally Mae. Go pick up Sally Mae. Send that motherfucker over there. Let's fuck with him. Ten bucks for ten miles. No, nah, I'm not going back up to Scottsdale. I just dropped Sally Mae ass off up there. I'm cool. I'm not going back up there. Because her ass probably got to work and got fucking fired. And now she's looking for a ride back. She probably complaining. I just took a ride and my back hurts. I need to go home. I fuck around get the same motherfucking passenger back. <laughs> I'm like, I unmatched this motherfucker. What are y'all doing? I unmatched. Sorry, Jeff. You're the only driver in the area. You got to take fucking Sally Mae back home. Fuck that shit. That's the last motherfucker I'm picking up. I don't give a fuck if y'all say $100 with a $100 surge, man. $200 takes Sally Mae home. Fuck that shit. You can keep that 200 bucks. I ain't dealing with that shit no more. <laughs> fuck that. <laughs> you can't pay me to take that motherfucker nowhere. Like I said, I'm the coolest driver out in this motherfucker, man. I'll be out here having a good time, roll, listen to my music and everything. But you get some shit like that in my car, trust me. Nah, nah. I'm cool on that shit. I'll fucking pull that motherfucker over. I'd be like, you with your roller skate wheel ass motherfucking walker can get to stepping. Fucking, I hope that motherfucker, that motherfucker look like Roll Bounce, the fucking Senior Citizen Edition. <laughs> it's like, you got roller skate wheels on that motherfucker. She wasn't a Senior Citizen, but still, that's what them fucking walkers look like, fucking Senior Citizen ass walkers. It's like, don't be over here fucking with me yelling in my motherfucking ear. Like, that shit ain't cool. I wouldn't do that shit to people, man. I I don't think I could, I could yell in somebody's ear. I don't think I could do that. It ain't, there ain't no fucking shit on this planet gonna make me sore enough or, you know, wild enough to, to fucking yell in somebody's ear like that. I mean, she was right behind me. She was like, oh, oh, loud as a motherfucker right in my ear. I'm like, you know that shit is uncalled for. You know that shit is uncalled for. And I mean, she only did it, do it once, like, oh, and then sit there for the next fucking, you know, two miles till we hit another bump. Hit a bump, bloop, bloop. Oh. And wouldn't say shit. I'm like, this motherfucker, I swear to God. Live be fuck with people, man. They got that motherfucker popcorn and them goddamn vanilla cream sodas in this bitch laughing like a motherfucker. The old big back ass fucking computers they be using. Old wish list ass motherfucking computer system they got. Hey, fuck them. Over there playing with fucking people. 
fuck it, let's do it. Because that ain't nowhere. I swear to God, if this is a decrepit motherfucker, I'm not going to be happy. Groggies, yes. I like groggies. That's a bar. And groggies always has the funnest fucking people. The motherfuckers going to probably walk out and be like, Hey, you should come fucking play darts with us, you motherfucker. That's how they be coming out of groggies. They come out of groggies like they're not even done partying. These motherfuckers walk out like, Oh shit, we got to ride now. Let's go to the strip club, motherfucker. That's how they be. Groggies is like a little fun spot right there. I'll probably fuck around and just get these motherfuckers the car keys. Be like, hey, man, y'all can come back and pick me up later. I want to go in the groggies. Y'all leaving and I'm going in. Fuck that. Here's my car keys. I'll holler at you motherfuckers later. <laughs> and those raggedy motherfuckers canceled the ride. And now they starting to send me other shit. It's like, nope. Not doing it. Not doing it. They canceled that shit. Last trip fucking canceled. I was just about to go over the bridge and they fucking canceled. I told you motherfuckers at Groggy's, they wasn't done yet. They was ready to fucking party still. And these motherfuckers want me to go to goddamn East Jesus for fucking $12. Fuck that shit. It's like, that's what Apache Junction is, East Jesus. You want to go to East Jesus, motherfucker? No. God damn it. We are not riding way out there. Hell no. Not for no fucking $12. And no tip. $12 and no tip. Everything they doing ain't got no fucking tip on the nine days. Like I said, if a motherfucker ain't putting cash in your hand, don't trust these motherfuckers. Where are we at? Fuck it, let's do that. It's $5, five miles. Where are we at? Bookman's Entertainment. Oh, shit. Let's see what the fuck's up. We go over this. If they fucking cancel this motherfucker, I'm gonna swear, I'm gonna call that shit good for the night on goddamn Uber. Cause these raggedy motherfuckers be doing that shit all the fucking time. That was a pretty quick ride right there. Like I said, they were just, they were at one grocery store going to another one. It was pretty quick. Just right down the street. I was like, cool, I could do that. No problem. Just don't get used to send me these fucking cheap ass rides, Uber. Let's, let's not do that. Cause I know what you motherfuckers is up to right now. And so I've made $14.25 on Uber and about 44. So I made about 58 bucks. Almost $60 on both of these raggedy motherfuckers. I still got a full tank of fucking gas, though. That's one thing. My gas hand ain't fucking moving. So I made 60 bucks. And I put, what, 40 in? Because I was down to about 100 something miles. So I put 40 in. And that was from, like, what, a couple of days ago. Because I didn't fill up yesterday at all. So it had to be like at least, like, two days driving on that last 40 bucks. And, yeah, these motherfuckers, man, they ain't, they ain't doing shit out here tonight. Not a motherfucking thing. I see shit like that. Fucking 18 fucking miles of driving down there for 12 bucks. It's the kind of shit they be doing to fucking people. And see, I'm not, I don't want to do shit like that. It's not what I'm trying to do with my life right now. It's like, let me go back in here real quick. So there's the old raggedy ass lift surge right there. Like I said, they going to pull the shit away any fucking ways. But I got to come up here to Southern because I got to make a left anyways. Hey, let's do that. It's at least a dollar a fucking mile. I don't know where the fuck it is, though. Of course. It's turning the... I'm in the left lane, and that shit's to the fucking right. Of course. But you know what I'm going to do with these motherfuckers? I'm going to show you motherfuckers how I do. You turn, bitch, right here. In the middle of fucking nowhere, because I get you down. This little beamer can fucking float. You turn, motherfucker. Surprise, bitch. Now I'm at the light. What? They motherfuckers thought they had me. They was like, yeah, we got his motherfucking ass. He in the left lane, we gonna throw his ass to the right. Motherfucker, I got an all-wheel drive, short wheel base motherfucking Beamer. I will U-turn on a motherfucking stoplight before that motherfucker turn green. Shit. Now I'm sitting at a red light. <laughs> all right, that was a pretty quick trip right there. Like I said, and that was all highway, so you know me. I made that pretty quick. That was actually skirt, skirt, $14 for 12 minutes, <laughs> 11 miles. Like I said, I was right around the corner, so I went and picked her up real quick, started on the highway, and you know me, man. Me and this car on the highway is like a fucking hand in the glove, baby. Shit. Motherfuckers know Beamers get on the highway and get it. And it was not a lot of traffic, so I could just get on there and just kind of cruise at my own speed and everything. So I threw that shit on Eco. Shit. I got on the highway at with 323 miles is when I got on the highway. I'm at 319 right now. Basically four miles. It used four miles till empty up on my little meter to go 12 miles. 
It's like, shit, I be cruising, cruising in this little fucking car. The motherfuckers be like, oh, but you know how much gas you fucking use? Bro, we got eco on our cars, man. We hit the fucking eco button. It don't use shit. We're smart. You think we driving around in a bunch of motherfucking F-350s and shit, hauling goddamn trailers? A lot of us got cars that don't use that much fuel. Like I said, every two, three days, I go to the gas station. And when I do go, the shit only takes me like five minutes to fucking fill up. It's like, motherfuckers in Texas, y'all gotta go every goddamn day. And if you don't have a charger at home, shit, you sit at the charger stage for an hour. An hour every fucking day. That's five hours a week it takes you to charge up minimum. Five hours a fucking week. And then, if you gotta wait on a motherfucking charger, if there's people there and all the charges is fucked up and broken, double that time. Ten hours a week charging. Charging has become a fucking job for you motherfuckers. It's like you spend more time charging than I spend fucking driving. <laughs> you spend 10 hours a week charging. I might drive for fucking 12 hours a week. It's like shit. Because especially if I'm making $50, 60 an hour, that's almost $800 a, $800 a week I've made driving. And in that time I've been driving, make $800, you have been sitting at the fucking charging station. That's what I mean. Opportunity costs, man. You got to fucking weigh that shit sometimes. Because motherfuckers love to say how we don't do shit but sit in parking lots. You're right, we don't use gas either. We fucking cruise, kick back, we don't move these motherfucking cars. Because when it's time to move them, we want to get some fucking money for that shit. Hold on, let me see something real quick. I'm going to go inside a lift. Oh, these raggedy bastards want to send me something now. As soon as I turn the fucking corner, let's see what the fuck they're trying to send me. Nah, you can keep that shit. I might go to Popeye's, but I'll be there to pick up some fucking chicken my goddamn self, not to pick up chicken for nobody else. Because for that price, nah, I'm cool. Keep that fucking chicken. All right, six bucks to go 12 miles. I don't think I will. Fuck that shit. You got me fucked up, motherfucker. I'm pulling into this little parking lot right here and I'm gonna relax for a second. Because it ain't no fucking way in hell I'm about to drive 12 motherfucking miles for six fucking dollars. No way in hell. And, and right before that, you tried to go get me to pick up a fucking box of dusty-ass fucking chicken for five bucks. Like I said, if I go pick up some chicken, I'm going to go eat some of that shit. I'm not fucking picking it up for nobody. Now they're going to be like, are you here to pick up an order? Actually, no, I'm here to order shit for myself because that chicken box was dusty-ass 550. Fuck that shit. I'll order my own fucking three-piece and sit in the parking lot and eat that shit and watch shit, shit fucking rides pass by. <laughs> it's like... I ain't picking up no fucking dusty ass chicken this late at night for no five dollars. Fuck that shit. Tell you, these motherfuckers better use them goddamn sketchers and them fucking British knights they wearing. Walk they motherfucking ass down the block, you broke motherfuckers. Because I'm not doing that. Like I said, motherfuckers don't like the tip and it's cool. Because I got to tell motherfuckers, you ain't got to tip us. You really don't. Because if the fare ain't what we want to agree on from the get-go, that's our fucking fault for taking a shit fare. Because they should be paying us better. Just like all these motherfuckers be saying, well, y'all should be getting paid better. You fucking right. And that's why there's not a lot of shit going on right now. Shit like that just comes and goes. We don't fuck with that. Like I said, the raggedy motherfucking new newbies and shit take that shit. We don't do that. That's these motherfuckers who are like, I got a W-2. I just do this shit for side money. Those motherfuckers are the ones fucking up the ass for everybody. Especially now that it's summertime and the market's saturated with a whole bunch of motherfuckers that got seasonal work. Oh, shit. They came in and fucked our money up real quick. But, yeah, we don't fuck up their money. They fuck up our money, and then they tell us, oh, y'all doing it wrong. Y'all doing it wrong. Y'all sitting around wasting. Shut your employee ass up. You motherfucking employee. Wait till your motherfucking job start back. Don't fuck with us telling us we doing it wrong. Get the fuck out of here. Like, if we doing it wrong, why the fuck are you even doing this to begin with if your W-2 is enough? Apparently, you doing life wrong, motherfucker, if you have to do this shit just because you can't fucking make it. And now you telling other motherfuckers we doing it wrong. I can see if a motherfucker got a W-2 and that W-2 ain't covering shit because expenses keep climbing. And they like, hey, Jeff, we want to do this shit like y'all do it. How are y'all doing it? I mean, that's a smart motherfucker right there. Leaving an industry, leaving a W-2 job to jump into a ride share industry they don't know much about asking questions before they get on the fucking road. That's a smart motherfucker that came for the money. They didn't come for the bullshit. They came for the money. Now, the stupid motherfuckers are the employees that left their little fucking office jobs and they're like, I'm just going to do whatever I want to do. I'm an independent contractor. I'm doing whatever I want. I don't give a fuck about none of this stuff. I'm going to stay busy. I'm taking $3 for fucking nine miles. I'm taking $6 for 12 miles. I don't give a fuck. I'm doing it all. I'm staying busy. That's the dumb motherfucker right there. Those are the motherfuckers that we need to keep out of fucking ride share because they fucking up the pot for everybody else. You got a W-2? You're new to the fucking game? Ask a question. 
Don't just walk on a basketball court, see a motherfucker with a basketball, grab that bitch and start trying to shoot it. You don't know if we're playing 21, 3 on 3, 5 on 5. You ain't even ask no fucking questions. You just grab the fucking basketball and you start running around the fucking court. What the fuck are we doing? That's the first thing you say, hey, what y'all playing? Y'all playing 3 on 3, 21, 5 on 5, what y'all playing? Another motherfucking cheap ass order. At least ask a fucking question. Ask what we playing. Once you find out the, the game of ride share and you find out what's going on, hey, man, what y'all doing in ride share? What's up? What are y'all doing? Oh, well, we trying to get higher fares. How y'all trying to get higher fares? What are y'all doing? Are we not taking shit fares to begin with? Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Even if that means we got to, you know, most of these motherfuckers like to go on strike for three or four days. We don't, all, everybody don't do that. They do that shit because they think it works for them. Cool, more fucking power to them. They go on strike for three or four days. They don't drive for three or four days. We stay driving, but we go on like a working strike. We don't take shit rides. We see a shit ride, we're on strike. We can't. We decline that motherfucker, cancel it, whatever. We don't fuck with it. We go on strike like in real time. Now, the rest of these motherfuckers, if they want to sit around and play the game of, oh, well, I don't care about no strike. I don't care about no low fare. I'm just here for a couple of hours, so I need to take every ride I'm going to take. So you drive. You burn and do $5 a fucking gas an hour. You burn and do five, five to $6 a gas. Because let's say you get 30 miles a gallon. And you go 30 miles, five bucks. You burn through five. But if oh, you only making fucking $24, you really making 19 fucking dollars in an hour. You making $19 an hour, burning up your motherfucking car, ripping and running, taking shit fucking fares for $19 a fucking hour. When you don't even have to do that. You just don't get a second fucking W-2 and let us figure out ride share. Instead of you coming along fucking it up. Go get a WW-2 paying you $19 a fucking hour and you'll be good. You don't got to come in our fucking world. Fuck. We trying to get $60 an hour. We trying to get $40 an hour. That's what we going for. We ain't going for no $19 an hour and we clapping our fucking hands like seals and shit. We not doing that. So you stepping into an industry you ain't even ask about. You think you know every fucking thing because you busy. Well, I'm busy, man. From the time I turn the app on to the time I turn it off, this motherfucker's going off. I did 34 fucking rides a day. How much you make? $195? You dumb motherfucker. You should be averaging at least $10, $20 a ride. If you average twenty dollars a ride, you should be at six hundred dollars right now. If you average ten dollars a ride, you should be at three forty. How the fuck you got one hundred eighty-five dollars? Oh man, I was taking three dollars for six miles. I was taking four dollars for nine miles. I was taking five dollars for fucking thirteen miles. Of course you was. Ooh, this is my ride home. Cool. Like I said, that's almost a dollar a mile, but it's getting my ass to go back home. See, this is where I live, way the fuck over here, where it says Guadalupe. So this is kind of some gas to get my ass back home. Oh, fuck, another Culver's? I don't know what the deal is today. These motherfuckers at Culver's, man, shit. Maybe it's like Culver's fucking Uber day. They got a goddamn discount or some shit. I don't fucking know. But whatever the case may be, this is like 10 bucks worth of gas for my ass to get back towards my house. I'm taking it. As much as I shouldn't, at least I'm not going more farther east. Because the farther you go to fucking East Jesus... The closer you get to bump fuck Egypt. Bump fuck Egypt and East Jesus are like fucking side by side. You don't want to go to bump fuck Egypt and you don't want to go to East Jesus. You want to take your ass home. So you get the $10 and you start taking your ass home. That's how it works out. Shit, now that was a quick ass ride. Just dropped him off real quick. Cool young brother, man. He was working at Culver's. He was working some overtime. So I told him, quit, keep putting that fucking overtime in. Stack that money like you won't even got it. Say any overtime money you get from your job, act like you don't have it. Put that shit in the envelope and put it somewhere. Seal that motherfucker. Act like you don't got it. So I told this kid, all that hard work you're doing, all this overtime you're doing, put that motherfucking energy in the envelope. This is all your hard motherfucking work. Don't get that shit to no club. Don't, don't be buying shots with that shit. Pissing that shit out in the fucking toilet. Put all that energy in the motherfucking envelope. Seal that motherfucker. Put a date on it. Because the day you look back at that envelope, you're going to remember that day. That, that energy from that fucking time frame is going to hit your fucking soul. And you're going to remember how hard it took you to get that fucking money in that envelope. And you're going to be glad you didn't drink that shit away at some fucking club. You're going to be glad you didn't buy a motherfucking ragged ass pair of fucking shoes that your ass don't even need to fucking wear. Money ain't nothing but energy. That's all it is. Just like when I tell motherfuckers to be giving tips back and forth. It's just passing energy. That's all it is. Just passing energy. So when I give somebody money, like I said, when I gave my son that motorcycle, I bought that motorcycle a long time ago. I had fun with that motherfucker. I used to roll the shit out that bike. That was Sheba. Sheba was a badass bike, still is a badass bike, and he got it. But when I gave it to him, that's me transferring energy to my son. Everybody was like, man, you should sell that CBR, man. Get the money. Sell it. Get the money. 
I don't need to sell it. When my son was little, he visited me one time. Sheba was in the fucking garage. He sat on Sheba. He fell in love with that little fucking motorcycle. And I was like, one day that's going to be yours, man. And he just looked at me. He had no idea about fucking 10 years later. I was going to be dropping that bike off in front of his fucking house, freshly fucking painted, saying, here's the keys. Here's the title. I told you this bike was going to be yours one day. It's passing fucking energy, man. That's all it is. Just passing energy. What the fuck? You got to learn how to pass fucking energy. You can't sit up there and, and tell motherfuckers that you're going to give them something. You're going to do something for them. And you never, that shit never come to fruition. You've got to plan life like that. You've got to do shit like that. But a lot of people, like I said, they hold on to too much shit to where they can't get nothing new. They don't get shit new. They just hold on shit all the fucking time. You got to let that shit go sometimes. Whether it's money, whether it's energy, whatever the fuck it is, let that shit go. Give it to somebody else. When I give advice to young kids like that, that's me passing energy. Old school to new school. Telling them how I got this fucking far. He was like, man, this is a nice ass car. I'm like, bro, you can have one at your age. And I can tell you exactly how to get it at your age. Doing exactly what you doing. You working overtime and leaving work right now at motherfucking 1030 at night. You leaving work. That's how you do it. You ain't out of no motherfucking club. You ain't out being turned up. You are doing exactly what you should be doing if you want shit like this in your life. Keep doing exactly what you doing. You ain't got kind of busy right there. I just did a drop and check out where I am. I'm right up under the damn airport. I brought that dude from where I dropped that last girl off, picked him up around the corner from him, and brought his ass all the way to my street. Look at that. I live on 48th Street, and I'm sitting right, I just dropped him off right off of 48th Street, and the airport is surging at 925. So it was like, shit, that's perfect, perfect. Let me look at these trips, see if anybody tipped me. Hey, I got a $3 tip. Yeah, from that last girl, she tipped me three bucks. Like I said, and that's what I was doing. That was the dude there, I dropped him off from, uh, uh, I think it was Culver's. That was the kid I was talking to about the money and shit. So I got him there. Then as soon as I dropped him off, grabbed him, brought him all the way down. You see that trip? That's to my house right there. So I it, I got $20, $21 to get from way out there back to my house. They gave me 21 bucks to get all the way back to the airport. And I think that's pretty fair. That's pretty fair. They gave me $21. Now I'm sitting right next to the airport. I could go up there and grab some fucking surge if I wanted some surge. But since I'm so close to home and I'm not getting no fucking ride, I might go over here and, and see what my dogs is doing. Cause like I said, I'm right there. Let me turn on Lux real quick. Just in case Lux wanna send me a fucking ride. Oh, where I'm at, 44 bucks, 675, 675. Let's go online. I think I still got Lux running. Let's go up in here real quick. Make sure vehicles, your vehicles, see details, Lux. Yeah, make sure I got Lux on. Because right now, everybody's at the airport. Oh, man, I'm thinking, should I go home and check on the dogs? I'm right around the corner from my fucking house right now. Oh, let's see. 925. Well, shit. Let's see how many people are up there. 6 to 10 cars, flight land from 11 to 12. I'm only three miles from the airport right now. Oh, fuck it. Let's make the left. Let's go. Hopefully, I get a short ride to a hotel back down here. Because like I said, I'm I'm actually turning the corner the opposite way from my fucking house. I should be going the other way. I'm going to check on my dogs and make sure they're good. But they are. They always good. But they just love it when I walk in the fucking door and they be all jumping all over the place. I give them a couple of fucking snacks and shit and then I'm back out. <laughs> like, they be thinking I'm there like, oh, he's here. Nope. I give them snacks and I'm back out the fucking door. Shit. Let's go check out this raggedy fucking airport. I guarantee I ain't gonna get no motherfucking no surge up here. Or they're gonna give me surge for 925 and guess what they're gonna do? Give me a ride to fucking bump fuck Egypt way the fuck out east. They're gonna be like, hey Jeff, do a 30 mile ride for $31. Fuck no. It's got a $9 surge on it. Fuck that surge. I'm not doing no 30 mile ride for no 31 fucking dollars. But that's the kind of shit they'll try to pull with my ass. Especially with it being Sunday night. I actually saw a couple of Uber drivers out when I was cruising. I was sitting at a stoplight next to one. And honestly, I don't really see a lot of Uber drivers and shit like that at night. Some nights it'd be like fucking, I'd be the only one out. 
just riding around and shit. But yeah, I saw that motherfucker with his light on. I was like, oh shit, we got an Uber driver out tonight. That's what I'm talking about. But yeah. Okay, 925. Oh man. Yeah. Not fucking happening, dog. Not happening. You know them high AR motherfuckers will look at that. Oh shit. I don't want to get my AR affected. Let me take that. Yeah, exactly. Take that fucking garbage. You fucking garbage man. I'm going to start calling those motherfucking sanitation services. All these high AR motherfuckers are sanitation services. <laughs> they take garbage. Yeah, y'all motherfuckers are going to take some garbage. Oh, it just says I was near a, a 925. All right, I see you. This is near surge area and waiting lot. Of course I'm near surge area. Thank you for calling Uber Sanitation Services. How may I help you? Uh, you can take this $3 ride for nine miles. Sure will. Thank you for calling Uber. Motherfucker, that's what y'all are. Sanitation services taking trash fucking rides. <laughs> shit, my ass. I will not be taking that shit. Fuck that. Like I said, I'm not doing that many trips. I mean, I did two over here. Then I did six over here. Eight fucking trips. And not bad. No fucking surge. I should have went and checked on my fucking dogs. You raggedy bastards. Oh, fuck these people, man. Let's see. Garfield Street and, and these motherfuckers. Let's see. Let's see what they talking about. All right. Let me see list. Ooh, let's see list. Let's see. What, oh, they're not going to show me a list. You raggedy motherfuckers. Let's go. All right. So we're just going straight up north anyways. All right, bet. So I'm going to go straight up north. So I'm going in the right direction at least because I guarantee if I had the fucking U-turn, I was going to tell them to fuck off. I got to pick up Barnabas. What the fuck? That's a pirate fucking name. Barnabas on the high seas. R motherfucker. <laughs> Who the fuck names them kids Barnabas? This is Captain Barnabas coming at you with barnacles all on my fucking tentacles, motherfucker. All right, cool. Picking up Captain Barnabas of the Black Pearl. <laughs> this motherfucker. Let me go pick his ass up. Okay, I just dropped off Barnabas. That was pretty quick. Dude was pretty cool, actually. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to start calling that motherfucker. Captain Barnabas of the Black Pearl was pretty cool. But in the process, these motherfuckers threw the surge back. 925, they threw it right back at the airport. They only took the surge away because I was going up to that motherfucker. That's all they took it away for. And they threw it right back up there. As soon as I picked up fucking Captain Barnabas, I'm driving. And I see that motherfucker like, holy shit. All these flights are coming in. As soon as I ended the fucking ride, I saw the whole map go fucking red. They threw that shit back up there. These raggedy motherfuckers, man. And I think they pulled it because I was right in the surge zone. And they didn't want to fucking have to make Captain Barnabas fucking ride 14, 15 fucking dollars for like two miles. So they hurry up and pulled the fucking surge out so I couldn't get that shit. And I got a $1 tip. I don't think that shit was a dollar. I really don't. I think that shit was probably like fucking $10. But they gave me $1. Oh, raggedy bastards. Like I said, I, I guarantee he gave me more than a fucking dollar. Because he seemed to be pretty fucking cool. But once again, Lyft or Uber strikes again with they fucking bullshit. Like I said, it could be a credit card thing. Could be. Could be. Or maybe they pulled the fucking surge away because they knew if the surge was there, I wouldn't have picked up Captain Barnabas' motherfucking ass. I would have been like, nope, I'm going to go get the surge. So they probably pulled the surge real quick. Said, Jeff, we're going to send you a fucking ride. Knowing there wasn't no surge... And I'm at a fucking red light. This shit irritates the fuck out of me. I'm sitting there at a goddamn red light. And it's like, the surge is sitting right there. By the time the light changes, the surge is going to be fucking gone. Now it's green. I swear they be fucking timing this shit perfectly. Like, you get close to something, be like, oh, pull the surge, pull it. Don't let them get it. Like, fucking give them another ride. Captain Barnabas needs to go to fucking Circle K. Like, fuck that shit. I'm too close now. Too close. See? Look at that shit. Look at that shit. They tried to do it again. Fuck them. Not even thinking about it. Not even thinking about it. Because I'm right here at the motherfucking surge. At a fucking red light, of course. Oh, I got the 925. Okay, so I got the 925. And I'm not even in the fucking queue, I don't think. Nope, I'm not even in the queue. I'm right there on the fucking corner. There's the queue right there. How can I do this and not go inside of that motherfucking queue? 
Hmm. I don't know. Let's see how many motherfuckers at that queue. 11 fucking cars. Fuck. I might not be able to do that shit. No, I already saw that. Yeah, I might not be able to do this. Nah, I'm not doing that shit. 925, they could do better than that. That was like fucking 17 miles. I got a 925 surge. That was like 17 fucking miles total. 925 surge. It was paying 20. So they was trying to give me like, what was that? $11 for 17 miles. They were giving me $11 for 17 fucking miles. That's what they were trying to do. So yeah, we're not doing that shit. These motherfuckers kiss my ass on that shit. I will not go inside of the motherfucking queue. I hope I'm just cruising next to it now. But well, I got these motherfucking dingleberry ass drivers behind me. It was like, give me that 925 on the fucking short trip. How about that? Give me that 925 on the short end. No. Man, they fucking trapped me in a goddamn queue. Because they wasn't saying he had to wait in lot at first. Man, hopefully they ain't got me. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, because I wasn't doing that fucking, man... 925 surge and they were giving me motherfucking man fuck them that's the shit i be talking about i had a 925 surge on a 14 mile fucking trip well four to them then 14 the most they can give me is 20 fucking dollars that means that was 11 dollars 11 and, and this is airport y'all this is fucking airport these raggedy motherfuckers be trying man they be trying Let's see. You know what? I'm going to get the fuck out of here. I'm not sitting here. It's, it's enough cars sitting here and shit like that. Fuck it. I'll take that. I'll take that. Just so I can get the fuck out of here. Because it's probably to like one of these fucking hotels up here. And hopefully I can go do this little trip real quick. Because that's like what? 925 that? Shh. Man, they giving me like fucking three dollars for this fucking shit. From the airport, I'm telling you, from the fucking airport, I'm tempted to ask this motherfucker how much he paid. Like, hey, how much did you pay for this ride? He'll probably be like, thirty-six dollars. <laughs> like, yeah, I got twelve fucking dollars. Yeah, it was thirty-six dollars. Like, yeah, okay. Like I said, those motherfuckers are trying to give me what twenty dollars to go seventeen miles. $20 to go 17 miles is what they was about to try to give me. $20 for 17 miles of that 925 surge. But instead, I'm going like four miles to get to this fucking terminal. And then taking them two miles away. So about six miles for fucking 12. So I'm making $2 a mile instead of doing that fucking $20 for that crazy shit. Like, fuck that. Now, hopefully I'm still by the fucking surge. We'll see. Let me go pick up pain. Major pain. <laughs> That fucking David Wayne shit. Major pain. Look at ass. Cool, cool. That was Mr. Payne right there. And cool guy. When he walked up to the car, like I pulled up to pick him up. And he just, I was like, pain. And I had the window down. And he just showed me the phone. So I was like, yeah, that's my car or whatever. And as he got in, I said, I said uh, would you get the flight laid over or something like that? But he didn't say nothing. He was deaf. He couldn't hear a word I was saying. And I didn't realize that until I kind of looked back and I saw that he was on his phone and he gave me a $3 tip. Cool motherfucker, man. Cool motherfucker. So he was deaf. And it, I didn't see on the app, like, y'all motherfuckers saw the same screen I saw. So it didn't say he was deaf. So he just, like I said, he showed me the phone. I looked, I said, pain. He just showed me the phone. Got in the car. I was like, hey, flight delayed, this and that. Motherfucker completely deaf. Ain't hearing a word I'm saying. So... As I'm, I see him in the back seat, he's on like camera thing and he's like sign languages and shit. Remember when I was saying we should all probably take up fucking sign language and like nobody really took that shit serious? Luckily, I looked up the YouTube video on how to say thank you and you're welcome and shit like that. So I was signing him like you're welcome and goodbye and shit like that. He probably was like this motherfucking driver knows sign language. All I did was just looked at a video of the shit like a few months ago. So the dude was happy as shit. That's probably why he tipped me the fucking $3. He was like, this dude knows sign language. 
And it's like, thank you is, you know, just putting your hand on your chin and going like that and you're welcome and shit like that. And like, I'm sitting there thinking to myself, something told me a while back to learn fucking like a, ba a few basics of sign language. I actually use that shit tonight, picking up pain at the fucking airport. I'm telling you, everybody should learn a little bit of fucking sign language. Not a, you don't have to learn a whole motherfucking conversation. At least learn like, hello, thank you, goodbye, you're welcome, the basics. That's it. Learn three or four motherfucking things. No, I'm not doing that. Learn three or four fucking things and you good to go. That's it. You don't got to learn a whole lot of shit. And like I said, I looked that shit up and I actually fucking... I'm glad that something in my soul told me to fucking look at that lady's video and learn fucking sign language. Because there was a lady that was showing me how to sign certain shit on the video. I was like, damn. And here I am using fucking sign language. I'm talking to this dude, not even thinking the reason why he's not speaking back to me is because he ain't hearing the fucking word I'm saying. He walked up and showed me the phone and I'm like, yeah, pain. I'm like, yeah, that's right there. I'm like, okay, cool. Gets him like, hey, how you doing? My dumb ass not thinking. Everybody doesn't hear. Like some people just don't fucking hear. And you've got to just know that that's a fucking reality that we live in. So fucking glad. So when I was like, thank you. And I was, you're welcome, you know, doing my hand on my chin shit. He was looking like, this motherfucker knows sign language. <laughs> just he, the smile on his face like fucking lit up. Like I was communicating with the guy and he was happy that I took the time out. To actually learn something little, not even majors, just something little. I'm telling you, man, y'all motherfuckers better get on YouTube and look up basic sign language. Practice that shit in the mirror. Fuck that. Because one day you will run into a pain. You will run into a guy like this, and he will appreciate the fact that you took out two fucking minutes of your day to learn his language. That's it. Sign language is universal. You can use this shit anywhere in fucking in the world. I'll do that one. Use this shit anywhere in the motherfucking world. Oh, and check this shit out. The reason why everybody's got these short-ass pickups, American Airlines just canceled a ton of fucking flights. Uh, Barnabas, Captain Barnabas fucking told me that shit. I guess they had the heat fucked up some shit on the planes. Like, they had to check the equipment and check all of this shit. And some of that stuff don't work right in this level of fucking heat. So they were giving people vouchers to stay at these hotels instead of giving them tickets for other flights. They were just giving them vouchers to stay overnight and catch a flight the next day. Man, I think it's going to be fucking shooting fish in the fucking barrel at this airport tonight. And it's cool because I got that ride that brought me all the fucking way home. I took Angel and then I took the other guy. I can't remember his fucking name. I think the second guy was Angel. Yeah, the second guy was Angel. Brought him all the fucking way back to 48th Street right up under the fucking airport. And everything I'm doing is right around the airport. Captain Barnabas, major fucking pain. I'm doing all these motherfucking rides and shit. New message from Marquez. Be out no shortly. Back to the are starting to come out. Okay, got it. I got you, brother. It's cool. It's cool. So, yeah. But that's the thing, though, man. It, it might be a good-ass airport night with Air, Air, American Airlines canceling and sending everybody up to these fucking hotels because they're going to have surge and nothing but short fucking trips. This is my third trip in this area already. My third trip. Had I took that fucking $20 fucking trip, I'd be fucked right now. Because the because I didn't take that $20 trip. Because this is what I did. I did a $673. I did a $1529. That was the $21. Now I got this trip fucking coming up right now. So trust me. That's why I didn't take that long ass fucking trip away from the airport. If shit's going to be jumping off, I need to be here. With that 925 surge sitting up there, something's jumping the fuck off. And Captain Barnabas told me about these motherfucking American Airlines canceling all of this shit. So, yup, it's time to get my, and then I'm close to home. So hopefully I can end my night right here, run back home and check on my motherfucking dogs. So like I said, I'm just down the street from my dogs right now. They good, man. Like I said, the Border Collie was sleeping because I wore his ass out with the water holes today. He was fucking sleeping when I walked out the house. That motherfucker was on the couch, knocked out. Husky, she stayed asleep. That's what, she swam. She swam a little bit today. She was knocked the fuck out. Uh, Dash, the big pit bull, I fucked him up with the water hose pretty good. He'll probably be knocked out too. I soaked his ass completely. Because it's hot out here, man. It's like you got to water hose your motherfucking dogs down. I wash off the concrete so they can walk around and pee and shit like that. So I hose everything down. Then I fucking soak them down so they feel good and shit. I mean, you got to do that to your dogs, man. Get them outside and soak their ass down pretty good wear them out. They feel good, man.
Drive Mr. Marquez off. That was right around the corner. Now I'm on another mission, wishing the bone to star. See, that was like right around the corner from the airport. I serious, I picked him up and he was like right up the street. So I love that kind of shit, man. These are the kind of rides I like right there. All right, let me see if I can turn down here. I think the airport is surging right now, anyways. At 375. I'm telling you, man, there's some crazy shit going on tonight. Like I said, if I could just stay by the airport all night and not go nowhere, man, I'll be in heaven making money and I ain't even going nowhere. That's the kind of shit I'm talking about. All right, let's see if I can get out of this gate right here. Uh, let's see if I can turn out of here. These little, little associations, they like a bunch of little townhouses and shit like that, man. They'd be confused as hell to get out of here. I remember one time I brought a group of ladies over here. They're uh, airline stewardess, and they live in this little area too. Oh, here we go. Bit, bit, bit. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Let me scoot up like this. Yeah. All right. Now I can back up a little bit because you got to scoot up far enough. And once you scoot up, he said, back up a little bit. Cause they gonna swing one way and the other one gonna he was right, motherfucker. He was right. Oh, they got my car smacked. Alright, let's get the fuck up out of here. Yep, that's where the stewardess live over there. Fuck no. Hell no. Shit, I could do better than that doing these short trips. I ain't doing no long shit. Like I said, that's 15 miles for 10 bucks. 15 miles for fucking ten dollars. And I just did what was this trip right here? You know, four miles for 11. I and mean, I was right by the airport anyways. The trip before that, it's $15 for a couple of miles. I was at the airport. Trip before that, $6.73 for two miles. Like I said, motherfuckers got to learn how to drive smart out here. They want to give you 10, 15 fucking miles. 15 miles going way the fuck up there. Man, they out their goddamn mind. And these motherfuckers will try you. But you got to be smarter than these apps. They will fucking try you. And like I said, these high, these high AR motherfuckers, they gonna, the first thing they're going to do, oh, you should take that. You're wasting time. You can just sit around and just pick short fucking airport trips. You ain't, it ain't even about time. It's about distance. And once you start doing too much distance, you're taking up time. You're taking up fuel. And you ain't being compensated for that shit. I'd rather sit my shit in the gas station and not go no fucking where. But I'm not going to be sitting up here getting played like a fucking idiot driving all over town for 50 cent a fucking mile. I mean, you let these cats do that shit. That's the shit they do. See, shit like that. Why the fuck do I want to do fucking almost 40 fucking miles driving, you know, 30-something miles? No, hell no, hell no. For, for 20 bucks? Shit. I could just stay right in this area and make 20 bucks. I don't got to go that far to make 20 bucks. 33 fucking miles just to make $20? Let's go find a trip in here where I made 20 bucks. Let's see, where did I make 20 bucks at? Well, I can say these two trips here made 20 bucks. I mean, the 14 and the 12, and that's only like 16 miles instead of 33. Let's see, where's a $20 trip in this motherfucker? Let's see, where did I make 20 bucks? 12 for 17. I'm getting closer. I know I did a $20 trip in this motherfucker. 17 for 3.5 miles. I got $17 and three and a half miles. Like I said, oh, there's one 20 bucks right there for 3.5 miles. Okay. But they're going to play me $20 for 33 fucking miles. That's 27 more fucking miles of driving for the exact same price. So I'm giving them 20 miles, 27 miles for free. 33, it was what, 33 miles, was it? About 33 miles for $20, and I went three miles. So that's 30 fucking miles I'm giving them for free. 30 miles of driving for free of charge. I'm saying, hey, give me 20 bucks, and I'll drive 33 fucking miles or give me 20 bucks, I'll drive three miles. Which one do you think I'm gonna fucking take being me? Versus which one do you think these high AR motherfuckers are gonna take? The high AR motherfuckers will be like, give me the 20 bucks for the 33. Because that's how those motherfuckers think. Me? Shit. Give me the motherfucking $20 for the three miles. I'll do the three miles. All right, I'm gonna cruise over here by this waiting lot again. And that's the thing. Last time I went to the waiting lot, I didn't stay. I just drove through the motherfucker. <laughs> So that's all I'm doing is just driving through, just making sure they know I'm in the fucking waiting lot. Send me a ride. Because I drove through this shit and I saw a whole bunch of Uber drivers sitting around in this motherfucker. I just drove straight through and then I got Captain Barnabas for them shit. I was like, fuck that shit. 
I drove straight through this motherfucker. They was all sitting there, but Uber gave me Captain Barnabas while they motherfuckers all just sat. And they probably waiting on them hundred dollar fucking rides. Man, I'm gonna get a hundred dollar fucking ride to Tucson. Man, that's a hundred and nine fucking miles away. But it's a hundred bucks. But you gotta come a hundred and nine miles back. Motherfucker, if you don't live in Tucson, you gotta come back. So you see that hundred fucking dollar trip. Ooh, a hundred bucks, a hundred bucks. You go 109 miles down that motherfucker, 109 miles. That's 218 fucking miles. You just did 50 cent a fucking mile. And you blew a lot of fucking gasoline. Because I'm cruising around looking. I see all these motherfucking drivers in their cars. Everybody's sitting here chilling. Uh, yeah, we're not doing that either. I'm not doing that. Fuck that shit. That was a little too far for me. Little too fucking far. They gonna give me a surge or what? Uh, probably not. All right, they're not giving me a surge, so I'm gonna cruise out this motherfucking way. I'm getting out of the fucking waiting lock. Like I said, they be trying me. They be trying me. I mean, fourteen dollars twenty-five. That's just too far of a fucking ride for me. Like I said, I can go three miles to get twenty dollars. I don't gotta go fourteen, fifteen fucking miles to get twenty dollars. I mean. If you want me to go fucking 14 miles, pay me $35, you know, 32, something like that. Hook me up. Don't, don't fucking have me doing some fucking shit rides. Said, hey, Jeff, we're going to pay you well. Just take this ride. No, fuck that. I'm cool on that shit. So now I'm out of the waiting lot. How much did I do today so far? Because I was doing shitty. $84. And I've been online for, uh, they won't, they won't show me. They won't show me. I hate when they do that shit. So 80, 44, so I've made about $120. So far, I've made about $120 a night. It's not bad. But, I mean, it's starting to get shitty out. So I'm going to go home, check on my fucking pets. Check on people's pets. These motherfuckers is people's pets, goddammit. I need to check on peoplepets.com. That's the name of those motherfuckers. Actually, I call their ass the lunch ladies. People be laughing like a motherfucker. It was like, I got two male dogs and one female dog, but I call them all the fucking lunch ladies because all they do is stand in the fucking kitchen waiting on me to eat my motherfucking food. They like the fucking cafeteria ladies in elementary. I'm like, you motherfuckers is like some lunch ladies. Y'all just sit and watch me fucking eat. <laughs> These motherfuckers dogs, boy, I swear. So every time I'm cooking something, I'm like, let's go lunch ladies. Let's go get us some fucking food. And they be running to the fucking kitchen. They know, they know what lunch ladies sound like Because that's what they act like A bunch of fucking ladies wearing hair nets and shit Slapping fucking mashed potatoes on goddamn trays Bunch of fucking lunch ladies Nah, I doubt it Like I said, I just turned on Lyft And I had Lux on So I turned it on regular Lyft And that's the first fucking thing they sent me King James even said, heck no Because I was telling him about some of the shitty trips I've been getting tonight He was like, hell no but Uber, I got Uber still running right now. Uber ain't sending me shit right now. Yeah, I left, man. I hit you back in a second. A lot of times I get to making these videos and recording and shit. And it's like, man, I only have time to text everybody, plus make videos, plus do all this shit. So I try to, you know, hit people up when I got a little time. All right. A lot of fucking messages coming through in fucking one o'clock in the goddamn morning right now. Like, what the fuck? Motherfuckers know I'm awake. That's what it is. Um, that is fucking crazy. So go up there to pick up somebody that, nah, fuck that shit. Nah, these motherfuckers is nuts right now. Go all the way up to McDowell. Just, there's other drivers up there because they're all at the fucking airport. But Lip is like, yeah. We're not going to send those drivers from the airport up there. We want to leave them up there so they can get money. We want to send your dumb ass up there. Like, bro, I'm not about to jump on the highway and go up there. Look at that shit. Fucking go to the airport and pick up somebody to take them to fucking Tempe for seven bucks. Nope. Nope. That's cool on that shit. I can do better than that. So I'm just going to sit here and chill and relax. Sure enough. Let's eat five miles for that shit. Oh, uh, let's go see. Let's go pick up a motherfucker and take them over there. And, all right, cool, cool. Let's do that. Yeah, we used to be like, no, man, Lyft is doing great, man. Lyft is amazing. Shit. Those motherfuckers were right. Because we really thought Lyft was going to be doing something, man. We really thought. But nope. Lyft fucking collapsed quick as shit. 
As soon as they took Lux off the fucking platform, what happened? They fucking started collapsing. Yeah, they started collapsing. As soon as they took Lux off the fucking platform, everybody was like, dude, we told you what Lip was gonna go through, man. We told you, motherfuckers. Y'all didn't believe us. And they right, we didn't. Because we was like, nah, man, Lux is, Lux is good, man. What are you talking about? Lux is good. And which fucking way did they got me going all up 48? I'm going up this way anyway. I was like, nah, man, they good. What are you talking about, man? There ain't nothing wrong with them, man. They doing good. They doing fine. Shit. Everybody was calling that shit way before we even started calling it. We was like, nah, man, Lyft is good, man. Lux is booming. Lux is popping. Do we doing good out in this motherfucker, man? Y'all tripping. Y'all tripping. It was like, Jeff, a lot of markets are drying up on Lyft already. Way before Phoenix was drying up. A lot of markets was drying up. That's why Lyft made that drastic ass decision to pull Lux. And once they pulled Lux, a lot of drivers was like jumping ship left and right. Like, fuck this shit. If this is how you're going to do us, let us buy these motherfucking expensive cars, then pull our money out. Fuck that. Y'all ain't giving us our tips. Ain't giving us no fucking cert, man. Fuck that. We out. A lot of people called that shit way before we did. Like I said, and I was a believer in Lyft. I was like, no, nah, man, Lyft will figure it out. They ain't going to drop Lux. They'll figure it out. They ain't going to drop Lux. Motherfuckers drop Lux. I was like, okay, this is fucked up. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to have to start doing UberX now. Fuck that shit. Started doing UberX. Shit, they be trying to send me Lux shit now. Man, I take one Lux out of probably every, like, five. Like, fuck these Lux rides. They, don't, they pay less than I make in UberX per mile. They pay less. So I'm like, I'm better off just doing UberX all fucking day. What the fuck, man? UberX be paying me fucking $2, $3 a mile, $4 a mile, $8 a fucking mile. And this fucking shitty ass fucking Lux be paying barely over a dollar a mile. A dollar eight a mile, a dollar ten a mile. I'm like, man, these motherfuckers right here. Where do I gotta go? Okay, gotta go up here. Yeah, let me see. Oh, right on University. Cool, I got it, I got it. Alright, man, I'll hit y'all motherfuckers up in a minute. I'm gonna listen to me some music while I cruise. Yeah, Liv been sending me shit the whole time I was giving them girls a ride. Liv was sending me shit the whole time. Check that out. And they gave me a $2 tip. That's what I'm talking about. It was right down the street, just a straight shot. Bam. I was at my house, drove up, picked them up straight down. Hey, that's it. Quick seven bucks. But then Liv been sending me... I think that's why Lyft is trying to try and throw me tips now because they know I ain't taking no fucking rides. Because they're like, why ain't he taking rides? Because we holding his fucking tips. We not giving his ass no fucking tips. Instead of $1, now they want to give me $2. Like, that shit make a fucking difference. It's like, man, they be holding our fucking money back. Wonder why we don't give fucking rides. It's like, because we don't play that shit, man. If y'all motherfuckers ain't giving us our tips, we ain't pushing it. Nope, we ain't doing shit. I'm sitting at uh, Jack in the Box right now. He said... Let me see how many hours I drove. About four hours and 200 bucks. Yeah, roughly 50 bucks an hour. Roughly $50 an hour. But like I said, I've been online letting this motherfucker run all day. And you, you can see that's they only gave $200 worth of good rides in 11 hours. Because this is a shit day. These motherfuckers are shit, man. They're not giving up no good fucking rides. Like I said, they got... Wait a minute, let me go back and see something. This is what they're doing. So they made $42 off of me. Passenger paid $280. Out of the $280, I walked away with $178 out of the 280 So they took like $100, this. They got the third-party fee shit, and then they got, you know, all that shit right there. Then they took their little lift fees out. So they they raking in the dough on my ass right now. Because y'all motherfuckers know me. I be having their ass negative. When they be giving me challenges and shit like that, I be having these motherfuckers negative. They ain't giving me no good chat. Look at this. $35 for 30 rides. This shit. Like, wait, you're going to give me $45 for 40 rides. That's why I ain't doing no fucking challenges. I'm not worried about these raggedy motherfuckers with this little penny ass fucking challenges. I don't do that shit. If it ain't at least like $2 a fucking ride as a bonus, $3 a ride as a bonus, it ain't a fucking bonus. It's your tips that they're fucking stealing and giving back to you. That's how the fucking game work with these motherfuckers. And to take your fucking money and give it back to you in the form of a challenge. Yeah, we out here in the challenge to get our fucking money back to us. So I made about $130 so far today. But like I said, it's been a slow, shitty day. Take a photo of myself. They're like, this motherfucker keep going offline and online.
Damn it, there you go, you raggedy bastards. Thinking it's not me. They're like, it can't be him. Like, motherfucker, I go home and shit. I don't just stay out driving all fucking day. I go home, kick back, relax, do what the fuck I want to do. You motherfuckers don't run shit around here with your non-tipping asses. I'm right by Mill Avenue. And it's a lot of people over here right now, but they're just at the Q Club. They're not really doing shit. People just straggling, walking around on a fucking Sunday. They motherfuckers don't want to be at home. So they just own Mill, kind of just walking up and down the fucking street looking homeless as a motherfucker. But Mill is like the party area. Usually they party, you know, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday is like stragglers. Motherfuckers who just didn't have enough fun, so they want to come out on Sunday to try to have more fun. But it ain't shit to do down here. Like, everything's fucking darked out. Everything's closed and shit. These motherfuckers still down here. It's like, whatever, motherfucker, whatever. Good luck having your fun. It's only one spot open. Q Club, that's it. They ain't giving us no fucking surge. Trust that shit. These motherfuckers gonna sit up here, try to have us do these cheap-ass penny fucking rides, and after we decline them all and leave the fucking area, they're gonna throw a fucking $6 surge here to try to get everybody to come back. Get down here, they're gonna give you a dollar. <laughs> that's what these motherfuckers do they'll throw a big ass surge on the fucking map to get everybody to swarm the area and as soon as people start showing up they drop that shit to like a dollar like sucker motherfuckers got all y'all ass here and I think on each person's phone they fuck up the surge like individually like the closest drivers here they'll get their shit dropped first but ours will still say six dollars we ain't close enough but as we get closer and closer they just start dropping the surge next thing you know everybody got a fucking dollar they be like, oh yeah, anybody within this radius drop they fucking surge down to one dollar real quick. And the rest of us, we still be driving to this motherfucker trying to get some surge. Never fucking happens. Fuck it, let's do it. Okay, I gotta go around the fucking corner and pick up somebody. Let me shut this shit down right here. Alright, so I gotta go round the corner okay then go down ash bet I know exactly where i'm going i'll see you motherfuckers in a second that was a pretty quick trip right there just kind of picked them up brought them over to devil's advocate that's a little asu bar everybody be going to i don't believe these fucking bars even open right now it's like man people going out on sunday night like this and i'm pulling up like dude is these bars even open get here sure enough there's motherfuckers in there drinking and playing darts and shit like, I guess so. God damn. Is that 88 bucks? Not bad. They won't tell me how many hours I did today, though. But like I said, 88 bucks? It ain't too fucking bad. Really not. But pretty soon, I don't know, man. This app's got to start fucking paying out because they don't start paying out. Shit, we're going to start shutting shop down. Heading back home. Fucking sleeping until tomorrow. I got to wake up tomorrow and do some shit any fucking ways. Like I said, I only made about, shit, almost 140 bucks, just amount. Yeah. It's not a bad Sunday. I didn't do shit on Saturday, so, you know, 140 bucks ain't bad for a Sunday. Because usually Sundays are shit to the point where I don't even drive. Guaranteed, Lyft is about to give me a fucking ride, like fucking $4 for like eight fucking miles. These motherfuckers notorious for shit rides like that. Notorious. Lyft been pretty crappy with me, but... I woke up, my man Shane hit me up, said, go look at my challenges, and this is what I got coming up. Of course, I chose 60. I can knock that out in two days. Lyft is about to get real fun this week. I'll have some pretty good video, because I know I'm going to probably do 30 each day. I'm going to hit that 160 challenge. So that 160 is going to hit my, at least my rides in like one day. Because it's going to hit the 70 and the 90 in the exact same day. Because I'm going to do 30 and 30 and see how that works out.